Hey, I'm getting in the Halloween mood. Fuck you, motherfucker. Oh, you know, the bad news, fellas, is there's still more, no more cans at the grocery store. So I'm drinking out of this goddamn liter, multi-liter bottle. After Alley, good to see you. Chango, good to see you. Can't believe no one corrects fellow cool kid Papa Jaffe. It's pronounced WAP. WAP, wet ass pussy, WAP. Why wouldn't it be WAP? Doesn't WAP make a lot more sense? Hang on, let me turn off this crazy nonsense. What do you mean it's WAP? WAP is a horrible slur uh, for... Uh, was it, somebody educated me on this, actually. Um, somebody said to me that uh, uh, WOP, I won't say it now that I know what I'm referring to, uh, means without papers, which was like an anti-immigrant sentiment. And that's where that came from, which somebody on this very chat um, educated me on that. It was very interesting. But uh, but when you do the song WAP, it, it's not, you don't pronounce it WAP, you pronounce it WAP, right? Because otherwise it would be wet oss pussy. That doesn't make any fucking sense at all. I think, I think you're wrong. I think you're wrong. Hello, Anthony Chipmunk. Good to see you, sir. Now, listen, fellas, uh, here's what's going on today. Uh, and Filetti's this is what's happening. Hello, Jeesh. Your name is Jeesh. I like it. Um, Here's what's going on today, fellas. We got, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about PlayStation. We're going to talk a little bit about Apple. I'm going to show you an amazing trailer for King Kong versus Godzilla that just came out. I'm going to talk a little bit about a brand new video game theme park. I got to show you some new images from that. We're going to have fun. We're going to talk. We're going to predict what's going to happen tomorrow. I'm going to do my very best not to let on about the stuff that I do know that's going to happen tomorrow uh, because I would never, ever, ever want to do that to the teams. But there are some things that I know that I'm going to keep quiet on. Other than that, though, it's fucking free range, like a goddamn chicken laying eggs, at the goddamn Whole Foods. We're going to talk about whatever the fuck we want when it comes to tomorrow on PlayStation. Then we're going to play two weird games today. We're going to play Killer7 on the back end. But there's a game I saw, and I'm trying to remember where I had this covered. It was some horror site that I follow that says this other game, Golden Light or whatever the fuck it is in the title, is just supposed to be fucking batshit crazy. So they both could suck. They both could not be good games to play on a stream, but we're going to try it. Before we even start that... Before we even start that, I want to show you something. I want to I want to get your get your feedback. So as you know, this is where I keep all my candy. The kids have discovered it, but this is now the candy hat. Um, and I went to the grocery store today and I bought these, uh, you know, these fucking Tootsie Rolls, but they're different flavors, right? I hate them all except this one, the vanilla one. Do you eat these? And am I the only one that only likes, like, do you even want the lime? Do you want whatever the fuck that is? Do you want the orange? Or is it like, does everybody just want the vanilla? Who the fuck wants the other shit? I don't know. Yeah, vanilla Tootsie Roll is the best. Lime is gross. That's right. That's right. Killer7G says, may not be your cup of tea. It's obtuse and backtrack. You may not. We'll find out. Okay. Hello, Delroy. Good to see you, pal. You don't like any of them, Dave Carrier. Gotcha. Understood. Now, vanilla is boring. Oh, you go to hell. I don't have a lot of energy today, fellas. It's just going to be a low-key stream. Unless, unless I siphon off um, your energy. Sod the legend. Hello, sir. Good to see you. I don't know why. I think I had a dream last night. I don't remember it. You know why you don't remember your fucking dreams? It's really fascinating. I'm not going to eat on the stream anymore. I'm just going to have this. I'm going to finish this piece, and we're going to move on. So... I know it's gross. I know it sounds gross. I apologize. There's a chemical reason. Your brain, um, when you wake up, there's chemicals in your brain that are associated with your dreams and your short-term memory. And when you wake up, apparently, there's a shift that happens. And a lot of those chemicals rush out of that short-term memory bank and that's why you forget your fucking dreams isn't that amazing isn't that goddamn amazing by the way i want to draw your attention to a new piece of art that again you guys are amazing this is the greatest fucking chat audience i've seen on the on on, on the live streams 
look down at the bottom there. What you see next to our buddy dog, I'm going to call that dog Rob. That's Rob the mod, the dog. Hello, Inky. Inky's our mod today, too. Good to see you, sir. Look down there. What you see? You see new art from D. W. Octorok, right? He's the same guy who made our new YouTube banner. Look at that. It's little pixel Jaffe. It's a little pixel fucking Jaffe. And look at that. There's a little bald spot. Hogwash, you're funny. Hogwash says, this is the only chat audience you've seen. I don't lie, you motherfucker. You know good and goddamn well I don't lie. Um, I've seen a lot. Because I watch other people's live streams. I was just watching one before this one. Uh, Rob Servations is what it's called. He talks about Star Trek all the time. And I always continually look at it and go, how the fuck does he have that audience? All he's doing is going up to YouTube and reading articles. But there you go. There you go. Did I have a great weekend? I edited a bunch this weekend. I put up a very long uh, uh, video on that movie Cuties. And I was stunned to find when it was done. It was um, it was um, 20 minutes long. So I spent a long time editing this weekend. But it was fun. I think it, it, it was fun. I was glad I got to do it. And I hung out with the family. What did we watch? We watched Murder on the Orient Express is what we watched. It was very strange to me. Um, because I, I just kind of ignored that motion picture and I never read the book. Um, and I don't, I'm not going to spoil the movie, but I don't, I was stunned by the ending of that movie. I did not see the ending coming at all regarding, uh, the murder on the Orient Express. And I was like, is that how the book ended or did they change that for the movie? But it was fantastic. It was fantastic. We enjoyed that. Jaffe, are you happy? Says Matt. I am, for the most part, a pretty happy guy. I am currently on drugs for it. Um, I wasn't depressed before I got onto Zoloft, but I was kind of lacking energy. I don't feel that anymore. I have a great deal of energy these days. Um, my biggest problem with the Zoloft is it makes me tired, hard to get up in the morning, so I need to start taking it early. But overall, yeah, I've always been a pretty happy guy. Uh, depression runs in my family, but I have been very, very fortunate because I absolutely know what a bear it is, um, because I've seen it with my family. Um, and uh, I, I've been fortunate that it really hasn't laid its hands on me, at least in a, in a meaningful way. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty fucking happy. Um, how are you, sir? Um, I thought Jaffe was 25. Look at those locks. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Look at that big old fucking bald spot. I don't mind. Even this fucking bushy motherfucker thing. This has gotten to the... We're going to get into games, I promise, fellas. Um... This is this, this has gotten to the fa I've never had a beard uh uh this big um or bushy. It's gotten to the phase where it's all soft now. I, I for a while I've been like I want to get rid of this fucking thing it itches and I just don't have the interest. It's boring to shave the goddamn thing off. The longer it gets, the longer it takes to get rid of it. I don't want to spend the time I got shit to do. Um but but then I'm like god, that's all soft and shit. I might keep it. I might keep it. I might start looking like a ZZ Top character. I don't mind. Solid says, Jaffe, little update. I got the Avengers game based off your suggestion, and I'm really enjoying it so far. I am glad to hear that, sir. I, let me tell you something. You, uh, uh, somebody was saying, how was your weekend? Let me tell you something. Um, I, fellas, Folletti's, all I did all weekend when it came to playing the video games, I played the shit out of um, uh, Hot Shot Racing. I thought I was going to go back to Ace Combat. I love Ace Combat. I played a little bit of it, uh, but I got to a mission I don't understand how to solve. I could, every, I, I felt like I was, uh, it reminded me of being a college kid. And uh, Mortal Kombat 2 was down at the 7-Eleven. And I was working on a TV series script, which I did end up selling. I sold it over to Universal. And, um, uh, was it Universal? Yeah, Universal Family Entertainment. But I would procrastinate like a motherfucker. And as I was procrastinating, I would go over and play Mortal Kombat. I'd hit that 7-Eleven probably 15 times a day because I procrastinated. So that's what I was doing this weekend. Every time I did an edit I liked, I'm like, up, oh, time for a reward. And I'd go play Hot Shot Racing. That game is so good. The rubber banding is a little crazy. The rubber banding is a little crazy. I'd love to see them kind of patch that. I know there's free DLC coming, but it's fucking great. Um, Grandma's, this is Mupo, gives us our first super chat. And then I think so much, sir. I told Sarah you gave her, Sarah's my daughter. She came in the other night looking for a knife. And I said, you can't use that knife. It's too sharp. And she said, I'm 17, you old fossil. Let me do what I want or I'll cut you when you sleep. And I said, fuck you, you ain't getting it. 
So Mupo comes in with like a fucking champion. He gives us $10. He says, Jaffe, don't you spend that $10. You take that money and you buy that kid a goddamn artistic knife so she can do her creative work. Mupo, I appreciate it then. I appreciate it now. Thank you, sir. Sad the Legend says, uh, Jaffe, you ever been recognized in public uh, before? I have been. Not all the time. Certainly not as much these days. But um, the one I remember the most is I went to the Taco Bell drive through and I'm getting my food stuffs, and the guy says to me, he says, aren't you that God of War guy? And I says, indeed I am, sir. Would you like a blowjob? And he says, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You do that and design video games? I said, no, I'm just kidding. But I am the God of War guy. Yeah, I've been, but I don't get recognized all the time. Um, it really depends on where I'm at. If I'm at E3, if I'm at Comic-Con, if I'm at places where geeks tend to gather, absolutely. Some game stops. Um, but if I'm just going to the mall or I'm going, you know, no, not at all. Not at all. Um, okay. Hey, Jaffe, why isn't the political stream up on your channel? Okay, so here's, let me give you some feedback. If you're a member of the Discord, which you should be, because you can call in live to this here show and talk to me whenever you want about whatever you want, so it's live right now, there is a new channel on the Discord called the Political Stream Replays. They're all there. I also tweet them out. So they are available. I want them off this channel, though, because people uh, uh, subscribe to this particular channel to get the video games uh, such and whatnot. So... But it's available. You can watch him. Hello, Saltiest Gamer. He says, yo, what's up, Jaffe and chat? Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, sir. Um, do the political streams get a lot of views? Um, I don't know. I mean, you know, they get, they would probably get more. Of, the problem is I take them down. So they get a little bit more, but I think it's because it's on a Sunday than the Gabin and Gaiman shows. But then the Gabin and Gaiman shows eclipse the fuck out of them once they're video on demand. I'm not saying the political streams wouldn't, but I don't leave them up in a place where they're readily available. So it's, it's really hard to know, but they're very well attended. There's a lot of people calling in, communicating. It's a lot of fun. Dane Barnes says, hey, Jaffster, have you checked out BPM on Steam? This is a game uh, that Dane Barnes is talking about. A lot of people are talking about. I think the reviews have already hit. It is a roguelike rhythm shooter. I have, it's first person. I hear it's good. The reason I haven't checked it out, though, is because it sounds like it's a it's it's roguelike, which I don't really like that much. It's okay. And then it's a rhythm game, right? So am I having, is it like that cadence of Hyrule bullshit where you're having to like, or, you know, neck, uh, 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 crypt of the necro dancer? I hate all that fucking rhythm bullshit. Um, but people love it, and I hear it's great, so I, I might look into it. <gasps> I did see that, Captain Hogwash. Captain Hogwash, now listen, now listen. Uh, I was saying on this very stream right here that the Mandalorian season one, I enjoyed, but I don't find myself dying to go back to it, but they just dropped themselves a shiny new trailer for Mandalorian season two today. And I am very excited. Now, part of it, I got to admit is it's much more tied in clearly to star Wars lore. There are stormtroopers, there are Jedi, there are return of the Jedi, uh, stormtrooper, uh, forest riding bike stormtroopers in this it feels much more like a star wars tv series now versus just this which i don't know if that's good or bad because i know a lot of people like that they were expanding the universe and i'm sure they still are favreau's a sharp cookie cookies aren't sharp go fuck yourself okay but the point is though is i really like that melding of the known star wars with the mandalorian stuff so i'm excited but what hogwash wants you to know is sasha banks who's a very famous wrestler over on the wwe is playing a jedi sorceress warrior character and she made her first appearance today looks like on tatooine wearing a black cloak and she looks pretty fucking cool um dane barnes likes bpm it is a rhythm game yeah a lot of people love that stuff that's just not my cup of tea that's all it is um Okay, so Hogwash says the movie set five, six years after Return of the Jedi. Okay, now Jorge says, look, fellas. I was talking to my buddy Frosty, who gives me great feedback about this stream. He'll always write me and say, Jaffe, uh, and I love it. He, he writes me tomes of like, here's how you can improve, which I adore. I appreciate it so much. He writes me the other day. He says, you still got to work on uh, not reading people's chats that don't go anywhere. Because you don't, you gotta, you gotta have a figure out a way to read them before you read them out loud. Because if if they're not relevant, the audience gets bored. So Jorge just posted something. I don't know what it is, but I was about to start reading it. Fuck it, I'm gonna live on the edge. I'm in the danger zone with Kenny Loggins. I'm gonna read it. I don't know what he's gonna say. It could be totally irrelevant and boring, but we're gonna try it. Jorge says, Jaffe, uh, how you doing, sir? I'm good, sir. Sorry to interrupt. 
You're not interrupting. You're in the chat. Been full with work. I'm feeling very fortunate. I agree. I'm watching an older stream, Black Lives Matter cuties, and you went live. Wanted to say hi. Okay. Well, what was, you know, okay. Well, I'm glad you're watching the video, sir. I enjoyed making it. I loved that movie. I was very surprised how good of a film that was. Everybody says to me, Jeff, you don't watch cuties. It's a pedophile motion picture. Well, of course, you tell me it's a movie I can't watch and it's awful. I want to see what the hubbub's all about. And I watched an interview with the director and she seemed like a very nice, very smart, very non-pedophilic lady. Is that a word? And I watch it and I said, that's a goddamn good motion picture. People are out of their goddamn mind saying that's a terrible movie. Jaffe, I was wondering if you've played the game Among Us yet. No, I haven't. I have not yet. So Rob the Mod, uh, yes, live chat is on. Rob the Mod wants us to know that we have some li- we have some codes to give away today from our buddy Dane Barnes. We will give those away on the second half of the show once we start playing the video games. Okay, okay. Thank you, Rob. Now listen, let's talk about tomorrow. Tomorrow, as you know, we will be streaming at 12.30 leading up to the Sony PlayStation 5. It's not really a press conference, it's a video. They're gonna reveal, we don't know what. It's a PlayStation 5 showcase, okay? So they're basically saying they don't, you know, we assume we're getting a price. We assume we're getting a launch date. We assume we're getting a launch list of games. Who really fucking knows? But we're going to watch it live together as friends do tomorrow. If you want to watch a stream where I'm talking over the whole goddamn thing, this is the place to be. 1230 tomorrow, the show goes live at one. Okay, now, listen, listen. What are they going to show? That's the first question. What, well, there's the price question. Uh, people said the price leaked this weekend, then some people walked it back and said, no, that was just an analyst. The analyst was saying the diskless drive, meaning the digital only drive is going to go for $399. The disk drive is going to go for $499. I don't know if it's true. I don't know if it's true. $399 for a brand new PlayStation 5 without the, the disk? That's not too shabby. That's not a bad price. It's a pretty goddamn good price. The games, the rumor they're going to show tomorrow, um, that they're going to show tomorrow, um, Wait a minute. Helger says, I've read a rumor of a $700 two terabyte PS5 version. Are you saying that is the a rare one? Or are you saying that is the most expensive one? And then there's only one other version, which is the discless one. Um, rumor is it's 449. Yeah, nobody really fucking knows. I've seen that one as well. Mupo gives us a banana in the super chat. He knows I appreciate it. He knows what I'm going to do with that banana once the stream ends. I appreciate it, sir. That banana is about to go where the sun don't shine and I love you for it. Thank you, sir. Now, well, Rob says if we get a, if we don't get a price, you're going to freak out. Of course, we're going to get a price. Why would they not give us a fucking price? But they might not. You never know. Think about that though. Let's, let's think for a brief moment. We're going to, we're going to talk about the games in a second, but think about that for a moment. If Sony shows up tomorrow and they don't give a price, what would the reason be? At this point, with Xbox out there, why in the world would they not give you a price? Of course they're going to give you a price. That would have to, There would have to be something really weird for them not to do that. Now, the other rumor, and I only saw this on NeoGAF, I don't even know where this came from, but it, it was sourced, but I forget where it was sourced from. The headline was, and I don't know if our buddy Brian King is here, who, uh, who travels the roads of NeoGAF, but he says, uh, the, 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 the story says that Microsoft is spending a lot of money and it's not on acquisition. So of course, as we've been talking on this stream, as it looks like they're now talking on NeoGAF, the assumption is that uh, Xbox has purchased the rights to drop something day one Game Pass, like a big third party, whether it's exclusive or whether it's just exclusive to Game Pass, which means, yeah, you can go buy Cyberpunk if you want for your PlayStation 5, or you can get it fucking free uh, on Game Pass. I, I have no idea. But apparently they have opened their checkbook and they have spent a lot of money and it's not on a studio acquisition and it relates to the Xbox launch. So at that point, what else could it be? What else could it be? Could Skyrim? There's not going to know. No, they, the, uh, the, the, the Bethesda guys hogwash have said their sequel to Skyrim is way out. There's, that's not coming soon. Sad says, look, hey, fellows, I got news for you. He says, I'm surprised that Jaffe hasn't played Five Nights at Freddy's. They have some of the vibes of Twisted Metal. It just never interested me because you know why? Because when I don't know what the game is, but it looks like it's one of those games where I have to change security cameras. It kind of looks like Night Trap. I don't really like that shit. Drunken Bastard says, rumor is Microsoft's trying to buy Bungie. Um, they did own them at one point, I think. Um, but I heard Bungie was too expensive. 
They did waste a lot of money on Mixer. Well, you got to try things. You got to fucking throw things at the wall and see what sticks. Nobody knows. No one's got a goddamn crystal ball. As much of hardcore gamer fans like to think they would know if they were sitting in Jack Ryan's chair, if they were sitting in Phil Spencer's chair, they think they would just, oh, it'd be easy. You don't, you never fucking know. When I was running Bartlett Jones with Nick Conanellis or Eat, Sleep, Play with Scott Campbell, we would sit in conference rooms and the doors would be shut. And it's like, oh, those are the meetings back when I was a lowly QA guy, when I was an assistant producer, when, where I was like, I want to be in that room. It's like Hamilton, right? I want to be in there. You're in that fucking room. You don't know. You don't know what to do. You're just going with your gut. You're going with the best information you got. And you're hoping like crazy that your company doesn't get shut down because you made stupid decisions or you don't get fired. So... Who the fuck knows, man? Who the fuck knows? Um, you love the Pennywise behind me. Oh, yeah, that's great. That's a great poster I got from Comic-Con a few years back of all the killers lined up, all the slashers lined up. All right. Is it profitable, says Mupo, for Sony to continue with AAA games when PUBG makes $7 million a day? Well, now, listen, that's a good point. It's a good point. Mm. I just spilled soda all over myself. Um, it's a really good point. There is a great business model out there. You see it in PUBG. You see it in Fortnite. You see it in Fall Guys. You see it in uh, Call of Duty multiplayer only. You see it in Madden. The games that sell the most, that make the most money, are not usually the games that get the massive kudos from website and magazine publications. So you would be forgiven if you looked at the first party Sony lineup and thought that they were ruling the roost when it came to making what gamers love. That's not true. They are ruling the roost when it comes to what a select group of gamers love and adore and spend a lot of money on. But gamers as a huge group have shown time and time and time and time again that they don't need those AAA production values. And so if you're asking, is Sony making a mistake by not going for the lesser expensive play, but going for more of a mainstream hit? I, I think Sony right now has its bread beautifully, wonderfully, financially, lucratively buttered on the side of the bread that says, let's make single player action adventure story games because we know how to do them better than anybody else and people adore them and we make crazy profit off them. But I would have to say, if you look at something like Destruction All-Stars, which is kind of like a Rocket League meets Twisted Metal, um, I know that they're talking about doing a multiplayer shooter. I, 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 look, uh, let's just say this. When I was at Sony, uh, when I was at Eat Sleep, no, when I was at Bartlett Jones, there was definitely conversations about, hey, we need our Rocket League. So it's not lost on Sony that a shit ton of money can be made without spending the same kind of money that they've been spending on their recent games that are only getting more and more and more expensive. So I would agree with you. And I think they are going to start spreading their bets out on the, uh, on the craps table. And you're going to see that this generation. You may even see it tomorrow. What is going to be there tomorrow? Now, let me give you my predictions. Let me give you, oh, okay, I can't talk about that one. Okay, everybody knows God of War 2 has not been announced, but you'd be a moron to assume they're not working on God of War 2. Let's just say that. Do I know it's going to be there tomorrow? Do I know they're working on it? I can't say anything about that, but I can tell you that if they were working on it, it wouldn't surprise me if that's there tomorrow. People are talking about, um, I'm not going to tell you that because I know for sure what that is, and I wouldn't do that to that team. Uh, Silent Hill, I know nothing about except the predictions. People are saying that, that the Silent Hill team in Japan has teamed up with Sony Studios in Japan. Sony does not own the rights to Silent Hill. I don't know if this is an unfounded rumor, but boy, wouldn't that be exciting to get a brand new hot pipe in Silent Hill game for your shiny new PlayStation 5. Probably won't be day one, but that's pretty goddamn great. Okay, so there's a rumor that that's going to be there. Um... Find the new Final Fantasy. Interesting. You would think Final Fantasy would be. Uh, you would think Final Fantasy would be shown at Tokyo Game Show first, and not in the West. I don't know that it doesn't matter, but I am curious. Is there a precedent for revealing a new Final Fantasy in the West, or is it always revealed in Japan first? I would have to assume. Uh, it would be a Japanese reveal, but I could, I could be wrong. Eddie says, no, it's a, it's a lock. 16 is happening. Okay. Um, okay. Wouldn't it be a bit early to talk about God of War 2? I don't think, I don't think Aaron, he says, wouldn't it be a bit early to talk about God of War 2? It's probably still two years out. Yeah. 
I think it would be a bit early in the sense that it's like, here's the story and here's what it looks like and all that. But would it be too early to show a very quick teaser just to basically plant a flag and say, you want a PlayStation 5? Of course you do. You love God of War? Of course you do. We're working on one. I think that would be in the realm of possibility if they were making a new game. Um, I think we'll see tomorrow, perhaps Ghost of Tsushima PS5, Last of Us Part 2 PS5. Um, I feel sorry for PlayStation fans who don't watch the Jaffe stream. We're getting juicy insider info. Well, John, you're not really. Do you really think Sony, I mean, th I want you to think about that for a minute. I, if, if, if juicy insider info for someone is, wow, you, you're implying there's a new God of War? Well, yeah. But, but that's, is that news? I mean, of course, the, the last God of War, people are calling the game of the generation. It won crazy amounts of awards. It sold through the goddamn roof. You, what, they, they have an engine. They have a team. What do you think? They're sitting around going, well, what should we do? I don't know. Y'all want to make a sequel to calling all cars? I don't know why suddenly they live on the bayou and have, you know, grass in between their teeth. But that's how Sony first party is. Don't judge them. They should have a, they should open up a Sony Studios Alabama. I would go work there. Um, but yeah, so I'm not giving you any insider information, but there is insider information I have, which I will absolutely not give. Realism says, oh, no, nope. He says it's too early for a God of War teaser. I hate it when a game is two to three years away. Yeah, I know. But the thing you have to understand is tomorrow is probably, I don't know how spooked Sony got over the uh, Xbox Series S specifically announcement. I don't know the EA Play, the Game Pass, the financing that you can get the thing for $25 to $35 a month. That may have knocked them for a Mike Tyson punch. Or they may be like, it's not on our radar. We don't care. But assuming that they're like, you know what? We're in a real fight, fellas. We, we don't have any intention of losing it. But this is not PS4 versus Xbox One X. This is a real competitor. They've shown up to play now. And so anything we can do to sort of buttress up our argument of you need a PS5, they're going to do. And I think showing a God of War 2 teaser uh, would not be uh, out of uh, the realm of potential necessity if that is their goal. Trey Trimble has a question, fellas. He says, Jaffe. When did you start consistently live streaming? I'm curious how I missed it. Because I thought when I first found you, your channel was like dead. How much have I missed, boy? Um, I started streaming about two and a half years ago, maybe two years ago. Uh, game streaming, we focused primarily on starting about three months ago with Gabin and Games. That's There you go. Um, I have no idea how to answer that question, Hypoxia. How would you use ray tracing to enrich gameplay? It's not on my radar. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I mean, it's just, it's better graphics, right? It's better lighting. It's better shadows. I'm sure that in the context of making a game, the artist, if I went up to an artist and I said, hey, um, we're struggling a little bit. Um, I see that Brian King. I'm not saying shit. Um, uh, you know, we're struggling a little bit with the player taking the player's perception and we want him to look over to the right because if they miss that when they're walking down the road, they never solve the puzzle. I'm sure ray tracing would come in handy there where it's like, oh, no problem. We have a lot of new tools with ray tracing that we can direct the player's eye better than we had before. Things like that. But I don't think ray, I could be wrong. I haven't done a lot of research into ray tracing, but my understanding is it's just improved light and shadows, right? So I don't really know how that's going to give you any new uh, gameplay. I could be wrong. Um, Jaffe almost channeled Fog Foghorn Leghorn. Yeah, there you go. Okay, while helping the Silent Hill hype, about two or three months ago, a popular artist, this is retro, accidentally hinted he was working on Silent Hill environment sets. I don't know if anything came of that. Yeah, absolutely. Eric, uh, and that would be great. Like I said, here, let me read Eric's thing, then I'll get back to you, Retro Queen. Uh, Jaffe, I think Jason McDonald should be the next God Award director. He's been there since the first one, and he understands the game fundamentally. I think that's an interesting thing for you to say. Interesting thing for you to say. Now listen to me. Um, right. Okay. So here's the question. I have a question. I was thinking about this this morning. You guys know that I am uh, all in on Game Pass, right? I am all in on Steam. As I've gotten older, I like, I love games that are 
I've always loved games that are about games, but I don't, the cinematic story stuff, I don't give a fuck about. It's, it's, let me tell, I gotta tell you guys something. We're gonna come back to PlayStation. This is, this is related. This is related. Um, uh, no, you didn't nail it. I'm just, I can't tell you anything. I can't tell you anything. Listen to me. Okay, so, um, and what do I, I complain a lot about cinematic storytelling in video games. I think cutscenes pull you out of the game, right? I think um, when a director comes in with, and I've been this director before, so I'm throwing myself under the bus too. When a director comes in with a very tight vision, I want to tell this story. And you see that a lot in modern cinematic games. And those games get lauded a lot. Those games get kudos and, and loved on a lot by the media and by players, which they should. A lot of people love them. Nothing wrong with them. But because I've been playing more Game Pass, because I've been playing more on Steam, I've exposed myself to all sorts of people. I've exposed myself to games that I really wouldn't have played before. And specifically, uh, Western RPGs. Western RPGs I was peripherally aware of, but I didn't spend a lot of time. The last one I played was probably Hero, or just Might, not even Heroes, Might and Magic or Bard's Tale back in the day. They just weren't on my radar. I played JRPGs. But what I realize which people who play these are like no shit jaffy you fucking moron i'm sorry i didn't know i didn't play them they weren't interesting to me i thought but the writing in those games specifically because the writing occurs in the game itself the characters you interact with the dialogue the scenario design the storytelling in the actual level design and then the the best part is the non-linearity so when you make decisions, and they're not like old school, like this is a good decision or a bad decision. Are you a good guy or a bad guy? It's nothing like that. It's so much more nuanced. It's like, do I help this person? Do I turn this person in? Uh, do I do this mission or that mission? And the game, I mean, it's not the holodeck. It's not perfect. You can still see the seams, but the game writes, its, writes itself as you're playing it. And I'm sitting there playing Wasteland 3 this weekend. Or I was playing Outer Worlds a few months ago and it does something similar, not to the degree that Wasteland does. And I was just like, where is the press on this? Where, how are they, how are these morons continuing to slobber all over linear based games with incredibly strong director's visions, which if they were making movies, it would be great. But there are people out there in Exile, the guys at Obsidian, that are making games that are story, that are narrative, that are actually complement the fucking medium with which you do reviews for. And it's just like, how, how is this, how is this allowed? How do, how, maybe it's because people don't play these games. I'm, I'm, I know it's like, Jaffe, yeah, where have you been? We played Fallout 3. We played Fallout New Vegas. I haven't played those. I'm assuming it's similar. All I can tell you is my mind was blown to discover those. I wouldn't have discovered those via game, without Game Pass. Now, the reason I bring this up is I'm curious, and we're going to talk about Sony again. I'm curious what games would have to drop tomorrow to get me to say, like, you guys know I did a video. I'm, I think Ratchet looks amazing. I love Spider-Man. Miles Morales looks like more of the same, but a graphic upgrade. But neither of those games is enough to make me go here, Best Buy or Sony or whoever. Here's $500 plus another $70. So I started thinking, what game would I have to see that makes me go, I need that goddamn box, right? And I want to talk about that. I want to see what games you would have to see tomorrow unless you're already all in if you're already all in i can't help you it is what it is trey trimble drops a huge super chat it's like dropping a shit but there's monetary value it's huge it just plopped into our lap he says jaffe you might have some insight on this i don't know i'll let you know sir how is it that consoles handle beautiful graphics and dynamic physics in real time but rendering 3d physics on programs i render with are slow and it has to cash um I don't know what you use. I mean, do you have an old shitty computer? Um, obviously, consoles are optimized to do a very specific thing very well. And if you're running on a computer that's been designed to surf the net and stream video and play some 3D games, and it's not really built to do a specific thing well, perhaps that's the reason. But I'm not entirely sure 
uh, uh, what you're talking about. Eric says, I know you don't like Souls games. Okay, so for you, Eric, Demon Souls is a launch title is enough to get you to part with $600 of your money. Nick says, Jaffe, look, fucker, it's not one game, you moron. It's the variety of games and the amount of exclusive content Sony gets. I agree over time, but day one, because this, it's, now I know, I know Sony has denied this. Bloomberg put up a report this weekend and said, Sony has admitted they're gonna, they, they said that, I think they said a fourth, was it a fourth? Uh, they're gonna cut a fourth of production uh, of PlayStation 5s because there are, faulty chips with the chips AMD or whatever they chose and they're not going to be able to ship as many and create as many that are functional that are dependable as originally planned well Sony comes out today and says that's bullshit right but regardless of if that's bullshit or not by the way I know irregardless is not a word but I love the word irregardless so I'm going to say irregardless it's so not a word irregardless of that um it's still going to be a hard system to get this Christmas. So my question to you is, uh, Nick or Eric, you guys are talking about Sony in the long run, six months, eight months, three years down the road where they have all these exclusives. I agree. Most people will want one by then. But day one, I'm a day one. Are you going to wait in line? Oliver Thomas says I'm in 100%. I understand that. A lot of people are in 100%. Why? 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 I'm not saying you shouldn't be. I just want to know why. Well, okay. So Kenna Bridge of Spirits has been delayed, Hogwash. And Ratchet and Clank is not a launch title. So I'm talking about day one. John says Miles Morales is enough for me. Okay, fair enough. Um, third person over the shoulder cookie cutters are not diverse, says Prez. I, that's, that's, you know. So you're getting a Series X plus Game Pass 9 lives. If I buy a new console this Christmas, and I very well may... It will be an Xbox. That's, I mean, unless, unless what they show tomorrow um, is like, and again, I know it's, I know the first party games will be better. Okay, let, let me, let me do this for you. Let me do this for you. I absolutely know if Sony came out with a new Uncharted, for example, that game would be leaps and bounds. I mean, it would be staggeringly brilliantly made uh, compared to something like Wasteland 3. I no shit, Jaffe. It would look good. It would move good. It would control good. But I'm not convinced, unless I see something tomorrow, that that game is going to be as satisfying to me as Wasteland 3 has been to me. So that's all I'm saying is I I will I will get it day I will get it instead of the Xbox if I don't get both, unless tomorrow Sony shows awesome stuff that is like um, really fucking cool. And I mean, I don't mean visually. I mean like, oh, I want to play that. Ratchet looks amazing, but I'm, it, 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 it's technically amazing. But I'm not like, I can't wait to play that. I'm just like, it's Ratchet. It's really cool. It's fucking beautiful. It has me excited for next gen tech. Nadim, that's a good point. Nadim says, Jaffe, you're not the intended audience. You're probably right. I may have fucking aged out. Um, so let me, okay, I want to tell you something else. I want to tell you something else. I, I would never write a novel, sad. No, I would, I know you've been writing that. I would not, I have no intention or desire to write a book. Um, so, but yes, so here's what I was thinking. I was like, okay, well, Jaffe, what, what would get you interested? Um, uh, oh, well, yeah. Drunken says, if Sony had Vanquish 2, I'd buy day one. Sure, Absolutely. What would get you interested, Jaffe, in going out and saying, no, I'm going to fight the crowds, I'm going to risk the COVID, or I'm going to risk the online crowds to get me, or I'm going to just call up Sony and say, please send me a goddamn PS5. What would make me want that more than anything else? And I says, well, at first I was like, what if the eco guys got back together? And I don't know where uh, Ueda is right now, but I was like, what if, what if there was a game uh, from those fellas? Would I be interested? And at first I was like, oh, well, yeah, that makes sense. Of course, Eco is one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, Shadow of the Colossus is great. I didn't play Last Guardian, but it had a lot of fucking hype. A lot of heart, sorry, and hype. Um, but then I was like, you know what? I, th I think, now, I'm not writing the obituary on Ueda, uh, who's the designer director of those games at all. But it wouldn't surprise me if he, like I, was a designer for his time. It doesn't mean I don't have a future in game design. It doesn't mean he doesn't have a future in game design. But there was a window there, just like I was making very specific kind of games in the late 90s, early 2000s that for whatever reason took a wonderful lucrative bite out of the zeitgeist and, and they really connected with the majority of players. 
Ueda, a little bit later than that, was making games that were heartfelt, that were artistic, that were uh, ethereal. But since that time, that space has gotten glutted by the indie scene. Whether it's that game company, I mean, even that game company's new game Sky, which is really fucking cool, it no longer rules the roost because every indie game developer is now taking a bite of that particular apple. So I was wondering, you know, for Ueda to come back and just do more of the same, just like if I were to come back, I have to reinvent myself as a designer. I would say he would have to invent himself as well. Ueda is working at Gen and they have a deal with Epic for three games, says Brian. So have they announced any game? What, do we know what the genre is at least, what they're working on? Um, I don't play on PC, says Nick. I haven't had a new gaming rig in seven years. I'm thirsty for new tech. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. That makes sense that that's, that's, that's the reason. Okay. Hello, Mojave. Good to see you. Now, listen, one more quick thing about PlayStation. I was thinking about this. Um, maybe the reason I'm not chomping at the bit for a new PS5 is also the fact, now you tell me if I'm wrong, because I did not play uh, a lot of PS4 this generation. I played a little bit of it. But again, the, 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 the first party stuff really wasn't to my liking. It was impressive, but it wasn't my kind of shit. I don't like games like that as much as I used to. Okay. Um, but when I look back, like I was thinking today, I was like, you know, previous Sony generations have introduced such beloved characters, right? They, I mean, Nathan Drake, obviously I hate to, you know, toot my own horn. We had Kratos in there. Uh, we even had Sackboy in there. Um, has this generation, PS4 generation, yielded? I mean, I know there's Alloy, I but but is Alloy really this aspirational figure for gamers? It's not like she's the next Laura Croft. Um, the guy in Gone, uh, not Gone, what's called Days Gone. I couldn't even tell you what his fucking name is. He just looks like a generic guy. Um, uh, I mean, have they created any new? characters this generation that really have has has latched on because i would imagine if they had that would be great people tomorrow would love to see just like with nintendo a new mario a new zelda or or what have you uh crate creighton knows says uh ps4 miss me i wish there were more 20 to 40 dollar games like back in the day which had heart remember what was the one that uh we're gonna play a suit of game today what was it shadow of, was it called shadows of the dam that was pretty fucking cool man Yes, yeah, St. Deacon John was the guy's name in Days Gone. Um, okay, um, Sony doesn't have mascots. It feels like their franchises are mostly going through the motion, says Solid Python. I think it's weird, man. I think they're so well made. They're so beautifully made. But I do think right now they lack, they, they need some big fucking characters that people fall in love with. Yeah, Knack ain't one of them. Um, Hogwash says women gamers seem to love Alloy. Okay, that's fair. It's totally fair. Cat from Gravity Rush, yeah, Kona Squid, but you're talking about a very a, a, a subgenre of a subgenre. I'm talking about I'm talking about like you know a big ticket thing that's going to get on the cover of Entertainment Weekly or something. Um, Sony lacks fun. Every character is doom and gloom. They kind of are. Spider, well, yeah, Spider Man's not Sony, but you're right, Jack K. That's true. Um, there's no point at buying a next gen console at launch, says Solid, except for artificial hype. Launch games are good, but nothing that makes me want to run out and buy them. I think you're right. I mean, I again, that's to me, I am excited. Uh, again, to me, I'm more excited about Xbox just because of Game Pass, because of EA, because of some of the exclusives they have coming to Game Pass, because of all the games they've got on there that I can play day one. If I watch Sony tomorrow, I, can, I can't wait to. I'm excited to see what they have to show, but I can't imagine they're going to show me one game that makes me go, okay, everything's changed. But wouldn't that be something if they do? That would be amazing. I don't think it would be PlayStation All-Stars PS5. If they showed me, a, I mean, this sounds so lame because I know a lot of people were like, oh, it's got to be, you know, something epic. If they said we're doing a PlayStation mascot kart racer, I would go, okay, I'm seriously considering getting a PlayStation day one, PlayStation 5 day one. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Like that would get me excited. I like games like that. I like games like that. I don't know why they haven't done that yet. Um, did Sony ever plan to acquire Crash Bandicoot? I would have to assume, but I, I don't know anything about it. I don't think you'll ever see a Jack and Daxter. I don't think that's ever going to happen. So, um, let me, let me, let me,
tell you something. I was thinking about this too, though. Okay, it's kind of like, and I know a lot of people in the stream based on my stats. I agree, Dave. That's a good point. Ratchet and Clank is not doom and gloom. That's a good point. But I know what they're saying. The majority of their bread and butter games, but they are changing, right? Gran Turismo, All-Star Destruction, Ratchet and Clank, Spider-Man. You're right. Um, you're, it's true. It's a good point. It's a good point. It's interesting because a lot of people do associate them with Days Gone, Death Stranding, Uncharted, God of War. I know, I know Alloy isn't doom and gloom, but there's something just very um, heavy about it. All their shit kind of feels like HBO Sunday night. Everything just feels so oppressive. And you're right. There are things they have that don't. Ratchet doesn't. Spider-Man doesn't. But for whatever reason, they do seem to be, you know, painted with that brush. And maybe that's unfair. You have a good point. Um, okay, so listen, though. Listen, though. Um, um, uh, you were asking. No, Dave Dave Carrier. Uh, Ratchet's super bright and fun. Um. Okay, so in the same way, I'm 49 years old, okay? I look back with, this is about PlayStation, don't worry. You're like, what are you fucking talking about, old man? I look back in reverence at the uh, arcades. I miss them. People who are younger than me, like, what, 15 years younger, don't have that touch point. They don't understand it. You guys, if you're younger, certainly me, we're going, I want you to think about something. You guys are at the point where it won't be long before there are no more consoles. And you'll look back at this time and go, remember how excited we used to get about new hardware? Um, I'll tell you why in a second. I want to get this super chat because I haven't seen this guy yet. Forget me not. Drop the super chat. I appreciate it, sir. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you for being here. I haven't seen you. I haven't seen you around. Forget me not. You're new in the neighborhood. I like the cut of your jib. I'm not into the men folk, but you got sexy legs and I won't deny the fact that you do, even though you also got yourself some twigs and berries. What if forget me not, it's like an Amish dude who just, just for now, snuck onto the computer at the school library and he's like, it can't be all bad what they say about the internet. And the minute he gets on, he gives money to this guy who's talking about his twigs and berries. Think about that. Forget me not says you might be right on the PlayStation character thing, but what company publisher has produced any new iconic Lovable characters. Good question. Let me think. Uh, this generation, have we seen, have we seen uh, a great new character? I mean, Cuphead, eh. I mean, Cup, eh. Cuphead's iconic visually. I don't think Cuphead is um, loved. Um... That's a good question. Maybe the, I mean, you know, the Fortnite characters, the Fall Guy characters, but I don't know if you can really say there's been a specific character design um, that really stands out. So I think, yeah, I think you have a good point. Um, I mean, Alloy, but I, I Al, you know, the Splatoon guys, maybe um, Alloy, I don't think was the, um, was the, uh, the big, uh, yeah, the Overwatch characters goes. That's a good point. Tracer and, uh, 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 what, what's the guy with the, was it Reaper and, uh, Winston? Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Listen to me though. So I hear, I want, I mean, I want, your mind's going to be blown with what I'm about to tell you right now. You guys, um, are living in a manufactured hobby of scarcity, Right. Right? Think about this for a minute. You're going to go drop $500, $600 on a new console. And right now, that makes sense for most gamers. Doesn't make sense for me, though. You know why? Because think about this. If Sony wanted to take Miles Morales, Ratchet and Clank, the new Gran Turismo, all those new games, and basically put those on PlayStation 4, they could. They could stream those fucking games through PlayStation uh, Now. Think about that. That's That was Stadia's whole pitch. Stadia's whole pitch was you never have to upgrade again. We'll do that on the back end. You'll just tune in and every couple of months you'll be like, holy shit, these graphics are better than they were six months ago. And it's like, yeah, because we've upgraded. You think about this. Sony 
in six months, if they have to kind of get, okay, here's a scenario I'm going to paint for you. Sony in six months is um, behind the eight ball. Xbox has done really well. Don't know if it's true. And they have to step up with PlayStation now. And they start to say, we are going to start putting uh, uh, PS5 games, not day one, but three months in on PlayStation now, okay? And we, because we've sold what? How many hundred million PS4s? Or not a hundred million, but how many tens of millions? I don't know how many they've sold through. Um, we're also going to stream PS5 games directly to PS4. Think about that. Think about Brian King in the chat says no one wants streaming. Bullshit. You're absolutely wrong. Brian King, let me tell you something. I love you to death. You're a dinosaur. You're, you're a dinosaur. You're the guy in the record store who's standing there shouting, we'll always have record stores because people love the records and they love the tactile records and they love talking to the, the people who sell the records. And then lo and behold, what happens when convenience comes along everybody becomes a fair weathered friend of the record store. When subscription services, I'm not gonna give them my Blu-rays, I'm a collector. Yeah, okay. You, you, you make up a small percentage of the audience that can still be served as a lucrative market, but everybody watches Netflix now. Everybody watches Hulu, everybody watches Amazon. The days of going to Best Buy and stocking up on 50 Blu-rays for the year, that's gone. Um, People, what did you see happen last week? Big, big Brian King, BB Brian King, BB King, BB King, BB King. What did you see happen last week, BB King? Here's what I'm like. You in, in real time, you just saw a nickname created. Sometimes. Sometimes it, sometimes it hurts being so good. You just saw a nickname created. So think about this, BB King, all right? What happened last week? right? Everyone, for the first time, people started coming out of the woodwork when Series X talked about GameSpot, or Series S and EA Play and all that. Suddenly, it's like, hey, I kind of like, I kind of like Game Pass. Game Pass is pretty fucking good. That's not too bad. What was happening three months ago, BB King? Oh, fuck subscription services. I don't want that. I don't want that. I guarantee you, streaming will be the de facto way people play video games in three, four, five, six years. All I'm saying to you guys, though, is think about that. Think about all this hype we have over a brand new shiny PlayStation 5 literally could be streamed to your PS4. It literally could be streamed to a smart TV. Microsoft just signed a deal with Samsung a few months back. You know good and goddamn well Game Pass is coming to smart TVs. That is the future. It may take time. It will take time to get everybody where they need to be, but that is coming and it is coming much sooner than you think. Um, and it's amazing. It's amazing. Again, you guys don't understand. Mutant Mo says, I hate streaming. Eddie Torres says, I still don't want subservices. Sub We're not talking about you anymore. We're talking about the business. Sure, I get it. There will always be hardcore aficionados that want to buy the records, that want to own the Laserdisc. I get it. That's not going away. There are companies that will serve you. They will get very rich off a very small but hungry elite audience that wants physical content and you will not be left out. But we are talking about the business at large. The business at large is a business of mass consumers. It's a business of convenience. It's a business of cost. And the quicker and easier you can give somebody a game, the happier they are, the quicker they goddamn play it. You're talking about a generation of kids coming up now who never owned a copy of Fortnite, who never owned a copy of Rocket League, who never owned a copy of Fall Guys, never owned a copy of Minecraft that they could take to a store and sell back. They don't know what you're talking about, old man. They would look at you and say, what do you mean sell Fortnite used? That doesn't even exist. You had your goddamn mind. That's all I'm saying. Brian says consoles are already super cheap. There are secondhand ones for nothing. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's a relic. It's a dinosaur. Think about it. Think about sitting down in five years from now and going, holy shit, I just saw an ad for the new God of War. It looks fucking awesome. When's it out? Tuesday night. Cool. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, it'll be, uh, it'll set a reminder. Tuesday night, we'll come over at eight o'clock. We'll play God of War. That's it. Well, but don't you need the PlayStation 8? What the fuck's a PlayStation 8? It's just coming to the TV. Who, when's the last time you brought a DV, bought a Blu-ray player, Brian King? When's the last time you bought a, 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 a fucking record player, Brian King? You know I'm right. You know I'm right. 
I'm going to church. I'm going to church. I don't, I don't believe in Jesus, but I'm going to church. Now, listen. Let's talk real quickly about Apple. Let me, let me go to the chat. You guys get the last word as always. Hang on. Delroy says, Jaffe, look. Honestly, yeah. He says, I can't wait for game streaming to take off. With the console shortages we're seeing in stores at the moment, I can't wait not to have to buy another box. I agree. I agree. Um, so Matt Boy says, Xbox still has another SKU that was leaked a while back called Edinburgh. And it's a Chromecast-like device. I believe it. I believe it. Um, bacon. Well, okay. Bacon. Bacon. Now, wait a minute. I get it. I get it. This isn't about you. Bacon says, I average 12 megabits per second. I can't watch a movie on Netflix without dropping. Imagine it with games. I get it. But you, sir, are a dinosaur. And I don't mean that disrespectfully. What I'm saying is Netflix doesn't care. Netflix has more than enough audience and they're like, you know what? Let, 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 uh, let Bacon uh, Magma go out and he can rent his games at the, at, the, at the red box. I'm not saying you're not going to be served with your interest. You are. But you are a relic. You're a relic. Um, Jaffe needs a rocking chair for the set. Oh, I would love that. That would be fantastic. Um, if we get reduced, this is after Alley, to streaming boxes, you'll bet it'll be a Sony PlayStation streaming box. Yeah, great. That's wonderful. It won't need to be. It won't, it, you can do it on your phone. You can do it on your toaster. It doesn't matter what you're streaming it to. It makes no difference. Now, Christopher Gorley wants us to know he just bought a record player. I understand, sir. Okay, hang on. I want to make sure I didn't miss a super chat. I think I heard a super chat come through. I think that was from my buddy Mupo. He says, Jaffe, you're right. Thanks so much, sir. You know, I appreciate it. He says, my students don't give a fuck. I added that colorful language. My students don't give a fuck about discs. I know. They don't care. They don't care. Um, people are buying TV sticks, so people will still buy consoles, says Marshmallow. And I don't know what TV sticks are. If you go streaming only, says Wave, you'll alienate your fan base no, you won't. No, you won't. You absolutely won't. That's, I mean, that, that is like saying Disney, look at all the families that would buy the clamshell VHS tapes and then the DVDs and then the Blu-rays. Disney, which is all about families, they're not really into, you know, hardcore video files and shit. They said, nah, we're done. We're done having a home video market. I'm sure there are some people out there that are really pissed off that they can't get onward from Pixar on VHS. But you know what? 90% of the world can. And that's all I'm fucking saying. Um, T-Spite says, I think it does matter. As much as I respect you and your opinion, hardware tells a different story. Hardware sells tell a different story. Hardware is breaking sales to this day. Streaming will grow. That makes no sense, though. You're talking about today. That would, that would be like you, T-Spite, saying... Uh, you're sitting around at the end of DVD players and the beginning of Blu-ray and I'm trying to pitch you on Netflix streaming and you're going, that doesn't make any sense. Look at these fucking Blu-ray players. They just came in, they're flying off the shelf. DVD players are still relevant. You're fucking out of your mind, Jaffe. Yeah, I'm not saying it's happening today. I'm not saying it's happening at the beginning of this generation. What I'm saying is all you have to do is look at the fact that these PlayStation 5 games you're excited about can literally be on your PS4 day one. If Sony wanted, they could stream Miles Morales to your PlayStation 4. And if you have good streaming, you probably wouldn't know a difference if you're an average person. If you're an aficionado, that's different. We talked about that. Um... This is the future, and it's not the far future. Um, would streaming threaten consoles like the Switch? Um, sure. I, I think consoles are done. I think, I mean, consoles are going away. It's, it, it's, it's a ridiculous, antiquated thing that people needed for a time uh, to play their games on. You don't need them anymore. Eternal says, I love consoles, but hardware is always behind. They're not pioneering something as demanding as cloud gaming. Sony is smart not to put all the eggs in that basket. Yeah, it's going to take time. Streaming only does 720 or 1020p. 90% of the audience doesn't give a fuck. They wouldn't know what 720, 1020p, 1080p is. And the ones that do, again, we're not talking about tomorrow. We're talking about a couple years down the line. Trey says, what I worry about is streaming like with Netflix. They can suddenly decide to take games away. Yep, they sure can. They sure can. That's, the, that's where we're at, fellas. That's where we're at. You can still buy them. Again, you guys, 
You guys think I'm talking to you trying to sell you. I get you guys are the ones. Who's the company that makes the, that still makes digital games and makes them physical? You guys are the ones that buy those, right? I get it. I'm not trying to sell you as individual humans. I'm trying to tell you where the business is going based on today's kids don't give a fuck. Look, if, 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 look think about this. There's, a, there's millions of kids today that are being trained on the fact that they can no longer play Fortnite on the Apple phone, on the iPhone, because Epic and Apple are in a lawsuit. Oh, well, that becomes normal for them. That's all. Bacon says, instead of us being dinosaurs, you're too much of a futurist. Yeah, well, we'll see. Limited run. That's right. That's right. We'll see. Brian King, it, I, I can tell you, it may be a terrible experience for you. Um, but it's not a terrible experience for me and it's not a terrible experience for a lot of people. I literally played, um, uh, uh, Bomberman, which is a multiplayer fast Twitch game on Stadia on my stream two weeks ago and it ran like butter. I don't have some professional line coming in here. I don't even have Google fiber. I just have spectrum cable and it's, 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 a, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a consumer package I get. I pay 40 bucks a month and that's what I get. So again, I'm not saying that everybody has that. I respect they don't. Bacon Magma doesn't have it, but that's becoming more and more the norm. Okay. Let's move on because we are not going to agree. I briefly want to touch on, you know what? We'll get, we're, we're not going to talk a lot about Apple. I just want to talk about Steve Jobs real quick. I want to tell you how much I miss Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs by most accounts um, was an asshole. And that probably is correct. Um, I never met the guy, never had a reason. The closest I ever came to Steve Jobs was there was a GDC happening. And at the same time, right across the street from the Moscone Center in San Francisco, Apple had rented out that theater over there and they were doing one of their uh, worldwide developer conferences. That's close I ever came because he was on stage. But I'll tell you something. Oh, the film was great, Brian. The, the, the Steve Jobs movie was fucking great. When I first saw it, I was a little like this. I was expecting more of a biopic, but you're right. It was a great fucking movie. But Apple comes out today and I mean, again, there's nothing wrong with Tim Cook. There's nothing wrong with Apple. They make good products, but you know, you know, you now have to admit, at least if you're a fan of Apple, like I am, um, you know, you have to admit that, um, the guy made a big fucking difference for that company because everything they announced today uh, is just same shit. It's a new iPad. It's an upgrade Apple Watch. Their big news was we're going to link together all the Apple services for $30. Now, Apple Music is great. Apple Ar I don't want Apple Arcade. Apple TV has been a disappointment. Apple Magazines was great for me when I was doing the weird streams. But other than that, I don't fucking read magazines anymore. I read the fucking internet like everybody else does. I just don't see it. I don't see it. Elon Musk is probably the closest we have to Steve Jobs, but he's so out of his goddamn mind and most of his shit isn't practical that I'm just saying there's, there's a missing, there's a, there's a, there's a hole in the universe and somebody needs to come in and fill it. Brian King says Apple is nothing now. I don't think there's nothing. I don't think they're nothing. I just think they are a normal tech company now. Afrali, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate that. Afrali doesn't even give us a super chat. He says, no, 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 Jaffe. I'm going to drop you some ducats. And here's a banana, motherfucker. I appreciate that, man. Um, yeah, Brian says, no innovation, just a company coasting on jobs. Greatness. I will tell you, I have firsthand knowledge of people who have been stolen away from the video game industry, from studios that you and I know well, and they have gone to work in Culver City, which is where the movie studios uh, sometimes are in California, in Southern California and Hollywood. And um, uh, apparently they're working on Apple's augmented reality glasses. And they say it's stunning. It's staggering. It is Jobsian. So I'm hopeful. I'm always hopeful because I love what Apple was always about. Um, but lately, Apple just feels like they're going through the motions Tim Cook seems like a smart business guy. Obviously, he's done really well for the company, but there's no juice anymore. It's just like, okay, it is what it is. After Ali says, here's more money, you old salty fuck. And on top of it, I'm going to say the word banana. I appreciate that, sir. Elon Musk is smart, says Hogwash. Jobs took credit for other people's work. I'm not, again, let's, let's just be clear. I get it. 
I'm not suggesting, by, thank you, Afrali, I appreciate it very much, sir. I'm not suggesting that Steve Jobs was the guy who made the Macintosh. He didn't make uh, the iPhone. I understand a lot of people uh, came together. But in the same way, I didn't program God of War. I didn't do the art on God of War, but you're goddamn right. My fingerprints are all over that fucking franchise and I could barely code basic back when I was fucking good at basic, right? When Steve Jobs says the line in the movie, when Seth Rogen, who plays Wozniak, says, well, I code, this guy does art, what do you do? And he says, I play the orchestra. What do you play? I play the orchestra, right? He didn't say that, but he said, I play the orchestra. That's a val creative leadership. And marketing leadership is a very valuable tool. You can have all the brilliant craftspeople and, and, and creators in the world, but Apple has that. And what's happening? You're getting very samey products. It takes somebody like a Steve Jobs, I wish he wouldn't have been such an asshole, to basically go, wait a minute, we have to think about things in a different way because the consumer's not being served, okay? Apple have so much goodwill, like PlayStation, they can poop out crap and it sells, says Bacon. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Um, Jaffe and Edison were complete assholes. Jaffe, I was a, an asshole. Once on top, once you're on top, you don't have to innovate, says Dave. Just keep giving people quality and use your advantages. Sure, I understand. I understand that that is working for them. It's just that's not what I want. I want innovation. I want to tune into Apple uh, uh, announcement podcast or streams or whatever the fuck they are, like I did back in the day, and be so excited. It's like, oh, sh it's like Willy Wonka opening the candy factor. What factory? What are they going to show today? That doesn't happen anymore. Solid Python says, Jaffe's the nicest 60-year-old man I know. I'll be 60 in f uh, 11 years, fucker. It seems like yesterday I was standing on the stairs of a Twisted Metal PlayStation 3 launch event in L.A. And all the press was there. The, the, the uh, Sweet Tooth truck was there. It was a big, hey, come play our new multiplayer level somewhere in East L.A. at 10 o'clock at night. And I come down the stairs from an interview with a, uh, I think it was International Press, and uh, the head of PR, not the head of PR, but the head of Twisted PR and some marketing people were there, and suddenly they bring out a big cake and the whole press corps starts singing happy birthday to me, and I celebrated my 40th birthday doing press for Twisted Metal, okay? That seems like yesterday. The fact that in 11 years, because that was 10 years ago almost, 11 years less, I'll be a 60-year-old man? Psh, you goddamn right. You goddamn right. It's crazy. 1999 with Macy Gray. I was there. I was there at the Sony party with Macy Gray. Macy Gray was there at the E3 party. Afra Alley says, here's $2. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it very, very much. He says, put Diet Coke on your Amazon wish list. I may do that. I Look, this is all I can get now is this fucking thing. I mean, I need my cans back. Did you guys see my little dude down below that uh, uh, DW Octorok made? Look at him. Look at the little, little Jaffe with a little bald spot hopping around those little Diet Coke cans. Look at him. It's like ring around. He's so happy. He's so fucking happy. Um, where? Fuck you, Liam. Where's Killer7? Liam, let's, let's you and I have a little chat, sir. Would you take a look? Do me a favor, pal. Uh, uh, um, <laughs> Brian says, Jaffe, you're in your prime. You just have a terrible opinion about cloud gaming. We'll see, Brian King. Liam, come come closer. Take a look around. What what what's the stream called? Hmm? What what's what's the, what's the stream called? I know Trey knows and I want to see if Liam knows. What you got there, Liam Liam, Liam Boardman? What you got? Hmm? Anything? Anything, pal? No, he, he, I think he, I think we scared him. He's like, I'm going to come out of my, <laughs> of my lurker cave to type the one thing I type. And then he's gone. It's called gabbing and gaming, motherfucker. We do the first half of the stream, which is talking about games. And the second half of the stream, which is coming up in about 20 minutes when we play the goddamn stream, the games. Okay. But I got to show you guys stuff that you're going to be happy about. Okay. You're going to go, oh, I'm sorry. I was such a dick to you, Jaffe. No problem, sir. I want to show you something that has me uh, excited, okay? And I think you'll know what this is the minute I show it to you. Forget me not is back. He says, I've put on a dress, I've shaved my legs, I've put on some lipstick, I'm ready to go out salsa dancing, Jaffe. He drops a super chat, he says, hey, hey, 
It makes me uncomfortable when you talk like that, Jaffe. Sorry, pal. He says, hey, can you speak on God or Ascension? Sure. I didn't work on it, though. Thanks for the super chat. I appreciate it, man. He says, I always felt it got a completely different story than was what in the marketing. Thought we'd get Kratos pre-oath. I mean, I had left, man. I was at, um, I think I'd even left Eat, Sleep, Play at the time. I was prepping for what would become Bartlett Jones. And so I, I had nothing to do with Ascension uh, at all. So... Todd Pappy was the director who was one of the great designers from the very first God of War until he left to go work on uh, what's the big space game Chris Roberts is doing that's raised like crazy money. He's doing that now. But I mean, you know, and, and I, I played the multiplayer, which was very technically impressive. I hear the single player was very uh, looked down upon because people were tired of the formula, but it was still really well done. Um, but, uh, but I didn't, I am, yeah, Star Citizen, but I, I haven't played it, but I, I'm happy to talk to you about it, but I don't know much about it. I want you to look at your goddamn television screen. Where'd that, where'd that guy go? That Liam guy. See, he's gone. He's gone. Look at that shit. Look at that. Are you still here, Liam? Don't be afraid. Get your ass back in the chat. Let's you and me talk as pals do. I want to show you what's on the screen. Do you know what you're looking at on that goddamn screen? That is the entrance to Super Mario World Land at... Japan at Universal Studios Japan, okay? This is amazing. There's new content I'm going to show you. This is the entrance to the theme park. They're still building it. There it is right there. There's a there's a a a a, a, a concept piece and then this is actually it in real life, okay? I want to show you guys new footage and new scenes. This is the best picture we've gotten. It is almost ready. I don't know what's going to happen with COVID. But look at this beautiful fucking thing. Look at this beautiful fucking thing. This is amazing, fellas. Do you know, I mean, do you know, look at the mouse. Do you know what this is over here? This is um, 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 a fucking Mario Kart ride inside Bowser's castle, right? There's like four different rides. There's a Yoshi ride, a Mario Kart ride, and there's like two or three other rides. They're building Donkey Kong Land back here. Um, this is fucking amazing. I want to show you some GIFs because they haven't put up video of it yet. I mean, even look at the pyramids and shit. Like the different lands from the actual different worlds are represented, okay? Here it is at night. There's the, there's the Mario Kart ride. Um, okay, I got to show you. I got to show you this shit in motion though. There's not video yet. It's just GIFs, Okay. But, okay, so you see the clouds moving, you see the coins spinning, they will literally have these question blocks down at human level where you can jump up and punch them, and you'll be wearing a little wristband, and you'll get things that will go to your virtual account. You might get a discount on your lunch, or you might win a little stuffed Mario, or whatever. It's actually a working fucking coin box, okay? Okay, there we are. Oh, look how beautiful this is. There's the entrance. Now look, I'm going to show you some motion. Look at this. There's Yoshi up there actually moving around. There are the, what are these, the Goomba guys stacked up moving around. There's the coins moving around. I mean, this thing is close to opening. Oh, oh, maybe they do have video. Let's see. Look at this thing. What is this thing called? What is this fucking thing called? The eyes light up and smashes up and down. Come on now. Let's see what the video is. I didn't know they put a video. Let's see. Okay, let's see. We're, we're not going to watch the whole thing. It's too long, but... um. I just want to see if there's new con new content. Okay, yeah, they're going to show us some actual. Oh, look, look, look at that! Look at is it life size? Yeah, it's life size. Look at that! How fun! And they're building one of these in um, Orlando. And my understanding is they're building one of these in um, uh, California, Hollywood, which is where I'll go. Look at that! Look at the dude back there. He's like, don't oh, film me. Look at that little little dude. Look at the little dude. You'd rather go to Disneyland. Dude, I fucking love Disneyland, but this, fucking amazing. Okay, let's see if there's any more footage. The inside of this ride here, if you haven't seen it, um, they haven't shown footage, they've shown concept art, but it's basically like the Cars ride at Disneyland, um, but you're wearing augmented reality, so you're playing Mario Kart. It's almost like a glasses version of the thing they just put out on the Switch, the little RC cars, where you can throw uh, shells and stuff at other cars and they spin around and shit. But if you're wearing the glasses, you see. I'm gonna show you, I've, I've shown you guys um, some concept art of it before. Let me, let me, 
Look at this. Look how beautiful this is. Isn't it amazing? You guys mark my words. Eventually, there will be a PlayStation Land. There has to be. This will be huge. PlayStation, they will do something with PlayStation. I could see PlayStation doing it more at like Six Flags, though. Um, it seems like PlayStation Land would be more of a thrill ride land than like this kind of thing. That's amazing, though. Uh, but the Mario Kart ride is, is fucking awesome. Um, okay. I'll show you one more thing, then we're gonna we're gonna take a break and play some games. Um, what did I want to show you? Oh, I want to show you this amazing uh, motion picture trailer. This is a trailer that just dropped. This is a trailer for um, um, this is a trailer uh, for the new Godzilla motion picture. Watch this goddamn thing. I'm gonna mute my microphone. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Well, of course it's fake, but it's cool. I just thought it was such a good trailer though and it made me really excited for the actual real movie. Look at that. That looks stupid, you moron. Kaiden says that looks stupid. What are you talking about? Look at this fucking thing. Look when fucking King Kong hits. King Kong's about to headbutt Godzilla. What are you talking about? Boom, look at, come on. Come on, you moron. That looks good. That looks good. All right. Game Boy grab. Renton's like, meh. You guys. You guys are tough to please. All right. Yeah, well, T. Harris, I didn't mean to get you excited, but I thought it was pretty cool. But that, I don't know when Legend's going to drop the actual trailer uh, for the movie, but hopefully it won't be uh, too long. Okay. We have two games to play today, okay? We are going to play, um, and the first one is just more of like a let's give this a try. I, I don't remember where I saw a write-up of this, but it was, um, Delroy, it's not real. It's, it's not real. Um, uh, but it is a game called golden something, but they say it's really fucking weird. So we'll play that for five minutes, 20 minutes, an hour. Depends how good it is. And then the main event, we'll move on to, uh, killer seven. Thanks so much for the follow. I don't know what your name is because the thing's too small. Someone just followed on YouTube, subbed on YouTube. I appreciate that. Thanks so much, sir. Um, okay, so Godzilla vs. Kong was pushed back to 2021. Let me tell you something. Godzilla, uh, King of the Monsters, was terrible. I mean, I was a kid. I checked out the Godzilla library book at my library and grammar school every Friday. Me and my buddy Jay would alternate because he loved Godzilla too. We were obsessed with that motherfucking lizard. I'm a huge Godzilla fan. Um, I had to push myself to watch King of the Monsters. That's how boring that fucking movie was. The, the, the effects were great. And Skull Island is a brilliant fucking monster movie. That's one of the best sort of B matinee movies I've seen since Scorpion King. And that's praise. I love Scorpion King. Um, but but uh, the new one, psh, King of the Monsters, how can, how can you have a movie with all those giant fucking monsters and it doesn't blow you away? And it's boring. Um... Halloween sequel got pushed. Oh, I saw. And then I saw today that Disney's thinking they're going to move Black Widow. Of course they are. Of course they are. I mean, look, I, I saw in the news that, uh, you know, uh, Fauci and a bunch of doctors were saying, look, we're going to be in this deep into 2021, fellas. It might be a little over a year before things start getting back to normal. So it's all right if you want to keep pushing it, Disney, or if you want to give, you want to charge me 50 bucks. To watch Black Widow, I'll, I'll pay it. I'll fucking pay it. Um, I mean, I understand Solid, Solid Python says stop moving it and release it on video on demand. As a fan, I would love that. They're probably looking at it going, look, we know how much we stand to make 
And yeah, I want to see James Bond, Renton. I do too. Maybe they go, we know how much we stand to make. And it's, I mean, you know, they're not morons over there. They're probably going, if we release it on video demand and things go brilliantly, we can make in profit $180 million. If we release it in theaters and we have to wait two and a half years to do it, um, and it's only okay, like comparatively to like, let's say Ant-Man and the Wasp, which wasn't the best Marvel movie, but they're like, hey, but we still made... $400 $400 million. I'm pulling these numbers out of my ass. They might be like, yeah, fuck it. It's business is business. I don't know. I have no idea. Do I want to see Tenet? Not really. I'll see it when it's on Hulu or something. There's The trailer was so confusing and so weird. And I kind of find Christopher Nolan's shtick just annoying. Frankly, that's just the truth. I liked, I love Dark Knight or whatever it was. The, the, his, the last Batman, the second Batman movie and Batman Begins was good. But I, I find Nolan's he just seems snobby, not as a human, but his movies are just, look at my cinema, ah, shut up. Um, that's me, that's me. Uh, a lot of people love him, I appreciate that. Um, my theater went down to one showing a day. Oh yeah, Dan, you manage a theater. His theater went down to one showing a day a week as a result of what, of Tenet? Uh, a friend of mine who went and saw Tenet said it was just gory and confusing. Interesting. Disney are going to consider streaming Black Widow after Tenet tanked. Could be, could be. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's in flux, man. Totally in flux. Um, okay, here's the deal. We're taking a six-minute break. I'm going to get a refresh of the bubbly. I'm going to urinate. I'm going to go see my children, make sure they're still alive and they love their papa. And then we're going to come back and we're going to play this uh, this video game. Uh, uh, what's the goddamn thing called? What did I say this thing was called? Uh, hang on. The golden, the golden light. And then we're going to play ourselves some killer seven fellas. Think about that. Think about the day you have lined up when you, I mean, seriously, I'm not even fucking with you. When you woke up this morning, when you woke up this morning, a golden shower, I told you the story. I almost got a golden shower. I didn't know what golden showers were. And the lady wanted to pee on me. I says, no, you're not going to pee on me. What are you talking about? My fucking friend thought it would be like a great birthday present. You fucking moron. I love my best. He's one of my best friends of all time. I mean, think about that. Think about that. I got him these amazing strippers for his birthday. Two beautiful women. They did everything and anything you can imagine. Jason Wilson, they weren't as sexy as Jason Wilson, but Jason Wilson shows up and says, Jaffe, I love the fact you take the time to come hang out and talk with us. I love your streams and we'll continue to support you. Jason, I appreciate that, sir. You know I do. I really do appreciate that. I appreciate the Super Chat. And as, if not more important, I appreciate you being here and contributing to our little community. Thank you, sir. Listen to me. These strippers, I got them. They did everything. To all of us. How I'm still here, I don't know. I just realized that today, uh, one of my one of my daughter's friends follows me on Twitter, and now she could potentially have access to the stream. I don't believe what I'm saying. Fuck. Anyway, the point is, so he gets me the strippers, and she's like, "I'm going to do golden showers." I'm like, "Oh, is, I don't know what that is." Okay, and then she goes to pee on me. What are you doing? I'm doing golden showers. No. What was my friend? I got to call him. I never ask him. It's like, do you like that? I'm not judging. But don't assume that if you're into that, we're all into that. Because here's a news tip. Most people don't want to be peed on. I didn't like it when my fucking kids peed on me when I was fucking raising them. When I was changing their diapers. I certainly, you know, don't want a fucking stripper peeing on me. I don't want urine anywhere near me. We're taking a break. I'll be back in six minutes. Uh, This is beautiful artwork created for the stream by the talented Trey Trimble. Uh, This is audio that I think you'll get a kick out of. I think a lot of you need to hear this. It is important. It is moving. It is meaningful. I will see you on the flip side of this here break. This is the golden storybook and tape called Super Mario Brothers, Trapped in the Perilous Pit. It was written by Jack C. Harris, and the pictures were done by Art and Kim Ellis. Whenever you hear this sound, you'll know that it's time to turn the page. 
long, long time ago, sometime last Monday, two apprentice plumbers from Brooklyn, New York, were hard at work. Their names were Mario and Luigi, and everyone called them the Mario Brothers. On this particular day, the brothers were trying to clean a clogged sewer right underneath a gypsy fortune teller's shop. Perhaps some magic leaked down from the shop, or maybe the Mario Brothers turned the wrong pipe. Whatever happened, the Mario Brothers suddenly found themselves being washed away through a drain pipe and into the warp zone. After falling through time and space, they eventually ended up in the magic land of Princess Toadstool's mushroom people. Since they couldn't find a bus back to Brooklyn, they set up their own local plumbing business to keep busy until they could make their way home. Princess Toadstool was a super nice person and friendly ruler of the mushroom people. One day, way down deep underneath her palace, Mario and Luigi were busy putting plenty of puzzling pipes in their proper places. This sure is hard work, said Luigi. But I'm always happy to do work for Princess Toastal. It's only hard work for plumbers with hard heads, said Mario. My head may be hard, said Luigi, but at least my stomach's normal. I don't eat disgusting stuff like mushroom and jelly sandwiches. Yuck! Oh, no! cried Mario, ignoring his brother and searching through his lunchbox. I've run out of fresh mushrooms! I know, said Mario. I'll bet there's some fresh mushrooms growing further down. And he went looking for mushrooms, which, as we all know, grow in dark, damp places. Suddenly, he heard a strange sound. Mario was horrified to see evil King Koopa and his Koopa Troopers invading the castle. Great gobs of purple pasta, thought Mario. King Koopa is up to no good. What can I do? All of a sudden, Mario looked down at his feet and saw the answer to his question. Magic red mushrooms. Eating mushrooms is very, very dangerous, unless you know which ones are safe to eat. Luckily, Mario knew that these mushrooms were safe. He knew that these mushrooms had the power to make anyone change into a giant. Now I'll scare those Koopa Troopas, he said as he gobbled down a red mushroom. Out from behind the pipes came a giant Mario yelling, Fee, fi, fo, fat! You'd better run or I'll squash you flat! The frightened Koopa Troopers ran screaming in every direction. But evil King Koopa wasn't fooled as easily as his Koopa Troopers. That is no giant monster! He snarled as he waved his hands majestically at the pipes. It is only one of those stupid Mario brothers who are always getting in the way. My menacing magic can squeeze him down to size. Watch and see. <laughs> Unknown to either King Cooper or Mario, Luigi was nearby. After picking flowers for the princess, he went searching for his brother Mario. Oh, no, he thought. I knew Mario was taking too long, but I had no idea he was getting into trouble. Wait a minute. Maybe I can help. After all, these aren't ordinary flowers. These are magic fire flowers. Out from behind the pipes, Luigi charged at the Koopa Troopers, furiously firing a fire flower. Cried the frightened Koopa Troopers. The fire from the fire flower will fry our flesh! Hurry! Hurry! Called Mario. The Koopa Troopers won't remain startled for long, and we have to warn the princess. Racing through the passageways beneath the castle, Mario and Luigi tried to escape the Koopa Troopers, but the villains chased them right into a hidden trap door. Oh, that was quite a step, yelled Luigi as he fell. That was no step, you bumbler, said Mario. 
We've fallen into a trap. How are we gonna warn the princess now? While one squadron of Koopa Troopas captured the Mario Brothers, a second squadron continued up through the castle pipes to Princess Toadstool's throne room. Screamed the princess as the Koopa Troopas grabbed her and her guards. Cried the princess as ah, you'll have to come back later. You gotta come back later to find out what happens to the princess. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. Well, I updated Steam. You know what's really weird? I think we're gonna be okay, but this is what's happening when I go to Steam now. So when I go to my library, which should have like over a thousand games, it's just doing this. I don't know what it's doing, but uh, it should be okay because I can still. Go to the store page. So this is Golden Light, The Back Streets. It's updated today. Let me read you the description. Um, welcome to the Meat Zone. Golden Light is a survival horror roguelike game in which a burning pile of meat can attack a pile of books who fell in love with you while you were eating your poisonous three barrel. I told you guys today is going to be a weird one in the best way. So we're going to start. If you actually want to hear what happened to that story, uh, you can look it up on YouTube. Your Steam, your, your, it's, your, it's all fucked up too, Rob? Yeah, I wonder what's going on. All right, well, let's play it. Here we go. Because I think I can play it anyway. Let's see what happens. Because, I mean, I downloaded it and I ran it earlier. It worked. Um, okay, so it's working. All right, good. Okay. Ah, oh, settle in. Settle in. New game. Let's see what this opening is. Game by Mr. Pink. You just got your dough for writing your Naughty Dog Freaky Blog. What's that, Mutimo? Okay, I have no idea what this is. Let's just go to new game. Icarus. Checkpoints on each floor. Icarus can sing you to easier floors. Wandering meat. Oh, wait, what? Okay, I see. It wants me to select difficulty, I think. Welcome to the meat zone. Dodging and jumping will help in battle. Press space. Okay. Again, if this sucks, we'll stop playing and go play uh, Killer7. Oh, look at the lady. Hello, lady. Hello, Hunter Affleck. Oh, we're, it's good. We're playing this new game called Golden... I keep forgetting the name of it. Golden something. Hello, lady. You're my best friend. Hey. Hey! The sun never sets, silly. Fuck you. What am I doing? Okay, the sun shines on Earth all the time, even when it's hidden behind the horizon. So the day and night are bound together. They cannot be without each other. I wonder how that must be. To be together forever, yet always apart, like Lady Hawk. We haven't gone out together for so long, my love. We haven't gone out together. Oh, yes, she said that. Afarelli gives us a super chat. He says, will you... Use your will to kick some meat, you magician. Well, thank you, sir. I appreciate that, Avrally. Thank you, sir, for the super chat. I appreciate it, man. Um, okay, is that the same thing she says? Okay, I don't know what this key... Okay, that's a jump back. Okay. Okay, that's a zoom in. That does nothing. That's interact. And this is like this weird little jump. Okay, ooh, what's over there? A flower! Uh, your hype for the stream tomorrow? Yeah, Hunter, I am as well. We are going to be watching it live if you want to watch with us. Okay, so this says... Okay, so you... Oh, I'm going to give it to the lady. Okay. The controls are really wonky. Hey, where did she go? Hey, where did she go? I'm lonely now. Bye. Okay, you know what's funny, though, is I'm already engaged in this. I don't know if I'll like this. I may hate this, but it's different. It's interesting. So this is what I was kind of saying when somebody said, I saw earlier, somebody says, Jaffe, why would you buy a, uh, an Xbox and not a PlayStation right away? Well, because Xbox has Game Pass, and Game Pass gets games like this. And games like this are what make me love games more than anything else. I'm not all that caring about graphics. I want new experiences. Now, this could be shit, but I've never played a game that opens like this. This is very weird and creepy. 
Um, tomorrow we're gonna start streaming at, um, we're gonna start streaming tomorrow at 12.30, but the actual conference starts at 1 tomorrow. Okay. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Where'd my flower go? Staple squirrel vibes? Yeah, I know. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Oh, oh, okay. There's something. That's the flower. Okay. What's that, Eastern Time? I don't know. Do the math, Alan Smith. Let's see. That would be 3.30 we start. And the show starts Eastern Time, I guess, at 4. Because aren't you guys... Uh, Aren't you guys three hours ahead on the East Coast? Okay, this is really strange. Um, 6.30? How is it 6.30? You guys aren't six hours ahead, are you, Joe? Or five hours ahead? What do you mean it would be around six? No, it wouldn't. If it starts in California at 1.30... It starts at 4.30 in, uh, in, in, I'm oh, sorry, if it starts in California at 1, it starts at 4 in New York. And it's three, th yeah, it's, New York is three hours ahead. Um, Alabama, which is central, is two hours ahead. Hello, Snow, Snow Wolf says we're horse fuckers. Oh, look at you trying to come in and be a troll. Buddy, if you want to troll, you got to work harder. You got to work harder, Wolf. Come on, pal. I tell you what, Wolf, you want to make yourself useful? Google what the fuck I'm supposed to do next. Look it up for me, please. <laughs> Wolf is like, someone's actually talking to me. It's not like my dad who ignores me all the time and throws beer cans at me. I know, because we're nice here, Wolf. We're not like your parents who have abandoned you in order to gain material items that they care more about than their actual children. We understand. I played, oh, we're gonna be, um, <laughs> don't kink shame me, Wolf. We're gonna play some PAX games on Thursday. PAX right now, if you didn't know, PAX Live Online is running. PAX Live, what is this fucking game? Um, fuck you, Rose. Pa what the fuck? PAX Online has tons of demos, though. Um, so if you're interested in going to Steam, another reason I love PC is you can go to Steam and play um, a bunch of fucking demos, man. And there's one demo I played that has um, uh, this uh, really interesting story about this abusive dad, but it's done in like a sort of Secret of Mana style. It's very strange. Okay, this is bullshit. I dropped 15 bucks on this game. Give me something. I don't mind the idea that you wander for two minutes and you're confused and then the game throws you a curveball, but this is just a big open fucking field. Give me something to do. Give me a radar. Give me something. Guide. Fine. Give me the guide. What the fuck? What the fuck am I doing in this fucking game? Hang on. It's opening up a window. Golden Light's a first-person horror game. Uh, fine. Fine. What do I do, you fuckhead? Getting started. Guy, Jesus Christ. Fuck you. This is bullshit. Let me go to the Golden Wiki. Uh, I totally got burned. All right, this is bullshit. Does anybody have any ideas? The girl, I did give, I no, no. Why didn't you give the girl the flower? I agree. Pray for help. Let's do that. Oh, God, it keeps going. It opened the Discord. No, I don't want to be on Chrome. I don't want to be out of my game. Um, I did, I did go to give the girl the flower, but when I turned around, she was gone. Bacon says, okay, first off, Bacon says, Jaffe, you'll play this but not Neil Druckmann games. Unbelievable. Look, Dell, I have no problem playing um, 
Neil Druckmann games. I just find his games are slow. This game, I may never play again, but I, I give everything a chance. And again, this game has great reviews on Steam. It's not like it's selling for $2 and it's a joke meme game. Apparently, this is a real uh, fucking game. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure Bacon Magma is Delta Gamer. Can I trouble somebody to look up what to do with the fucking rose in um, this game? I would appreciate it. Because the reviews on this have been so good that I can't imagine... I mean, this is just procedurally generated hills. I mean, what the fuck? Feed it to the sun. You have to find the girl. Yeah, but the girl disappeared. Thank you, Hunter. I appreciate it. I picked the flower. I turned to give it to the girl who said we need to go on a date. And she vanished. It may have glitched. Let's see. Let's, uh... Let me just go over this hill here. The guy you watch picked the rose and walked it back to her. Okay, so it glitched. All right, all right, let's start again. Let's go to main menu. Okay. New game. Okay. All right, there's the lady. I'm gonna give you the rose. There you go, see? Oh, nice, let's go after it. But as a designer, they should have figured out a way to put up some walls there to prevent that. See, stick with something. Stick with something, things work out, kids. Whoa! Well, that's it, my love. It took me away. Dragged me to its grave of meat. It put me under hundreds of locks. Will I ever see you again? Here in the depth of the flowers of blood. That's my house, says Brian. It holds me with its red hawk fangs. It says it can't stop, but I'm still waiting. Here in the depths of flowers. Okay, got it. Okay, it says hit tab. What's that? Do? Okay, that's just bullshit. Okay. I write this with two fingers that I have left to whoever reads it. Weapon will not help. Run away. Okay. I'm going to get some gold. Uh, what? Oh, fuck you. Can I use the computer? I think when there's a little light, it means I can interact with it, right? Maybe? I guess not. Okay. Eternal says, that's what I was trying to say about Alien Isolation, but you quit before you got the good part. I understand, but that game, how long am I supposed to give that a shot? I played for 15 minutes. This, this isn't a game that got better at 15 minutes. This is a game that had a bug, and it didn't really seem to, to worry about educating the player how to do anything. Okay, wait. I want that. God damn. Oh, I see. Oh my god, the controls are shit. Okay, I'm on the desk. I want that. Okay. An eye with fingers. Oh! Neat. Gross, but neat. Bad head. Okay.
Jaffe, I noticed you stream your politics stream on YouTube. You said it would be on Twitch. Uh, why the change of heart? Just because I felt... Hang on a sec. You know, I just... I have a bigger audience over on YouTube, and I want to build the channel, and I realized I could... I could stream it and then make it unlisted for people who have the Discord. And that was the reason. I just... I like being on one place. Otherwise, it just gets really confusing. Weapons are no good. Better kill the weapon, kill the weapon, it will stop, burn you, poison will bite you, okay. Okay. Does this game have good reviews? It does, it has really good reviews. I mean, this is one of those games you're not going to see it reviewed in a lot of places, but um, the reviews I've seen have been really fucking good. Oh, you need a link to the Discord? Um, Inky or Rob, are you guys still on? Would you guys mind uh, giving Dave a Discord link? Ooh. You know what it is, too? I know Bacon was asking about this versus a Naughty Dog game. And again, Naughty Dog games are amazing, but... This game already, even though I may end up hating this game, this game clearly feels like it has a really different vision. It's like what it's trying to do. I'm like, okay, I don't think I've experienced this before. And that may be for a reason. It may be because it sucks, but at least it feels like interesting. And a lot of big budget games just out of necessity have to be pretty standard. Um, and you know, I said this the other day, once you've been gaming for as long as I have, and I'll, as long as some of you guys have me, I just kind of get bored of the same old shit, you know? Um, thank you, Rob, for doing that. Um, it probably would have picked up in the next 15 minutes. Alien Isolation? Yeah. Okay, let's see what I have to do here. Okay, what's that? Oh, look at that. Okay, where am I? Okay. Jaffe's the old couple that gets freaky in the bedroom to mix things up, says Dane. I would like to think everybody does. Otherwise, what's the point? I mean, think about how boring it would be if all you did was the missionary position every time. What a, what a horrible sex life you would have. Um, have I played Outlast? Outlast. Outer Worlds, Outlast. Oh, Outlast. I did. That's where you're playing the, uh, that's where you're playing the reporter with the camera, right? Yeah, I've played it. I didn't play it enough to really have much judgment. I thought it was kind of boring, but I probably wasn't in the right headspace. Clearly, it's, it's loved by a lot of people. All this fucking gold is distracting. I don't want to be collecting it, but I, I don't know if I need to. The gut is a strange place. The walls here are constantly shifting. Items are changing. Yesterday I ate a fish head and it healed me. Today I ate another one and it poisoned me. I saw there's a new uh, amnesia coming. Absolutely. Um, I did play the first one, never finished it, but I liked it. Uh, the new one, I haven't watched the trailer yet, but I hear it's great. Imagine having a partner and not trying out freaky deaky shit, says Solid. Yeah, what would be the point? Um, okay, we've been here. I was running away from legs. I only had the eye with fingers. I don't care. That's boring. Don't, don't make me read a bunch of shit, game. Come on now. I don't give a fuck. I want to have the experience. I want to experience the game. What pissed me off about Outlast is it just being too helpless. Seriously, even in real life... I would fight back. Okay. Yeah, I haven't I haven't really played it enough. Um, the thing I remember cracking about um, that game, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Amnesia was, I just thought it was so brilliant in that game when you uh, uh, were in that room and the ghost was invisible and he started splashing through the water. Um, I'd, never, I'd never seen that before. I thought that was really cool and creepy. And because the ghost was not there, but okay, so wait, if I turn left, that means it's it's a question mark to my left, right? Direct left. 
If I go... This is a really bad map. You know what? Fires burn out quicker when you run. Okay. Okay, I might find myself... I mean, again... What did I say? I said, come to this stream. It's going to be a weird one. I mean, this is a weird game so far. And it's not... It's, it's weird, but it might be weird to the point of obnoxious. Like, I don't have any sense of what I'm doing at all. Okay, there's the map. No, James Gilchrist says, was there ever a game so scary you had to turn it off? Never. I have never been... The, the scariest games to me are games where, you know, like I, I've been playing um, a lot of Hot Shot Racing and I'm playing it on expert mode because I want to finish it. I want to get all the trophies or the in-game trophies, the Grand Prix trophies. And obviously in a game like that, I get scared when I'm in first place and there's a great deal of palpable tension because I don't want to fuck up. But I've, I've, never been, um, I've never been scared in a horror game in my life. Um, I just, I, I've heard people talk about stuff. Oh, there's a fish head, okay. I've heard people talk about that kind of stuff. But, okay, so what do I do? Can I eat it? Okay, okay, I got it. Okay, that, can I use it? Okay, that's zoom. That's use. Hall of the Mountain King for the Atari when you were four scared the crap out of you. Interesting. Um, yeah, I'd love to get scared in a game, but it doesn't work. The closest I was scared about playing a game was Man... Oh, what was that? Was Manhunt. I've not played Manhunt. Okay, what are you Five Nights at Freddy scared you? Can I crouch? Oh, I can crouch on the keyboard. She just plays with the keyboard. Thief toys just roll into your pockets. One who has a head hears your steps. Okay. You should play Manhunt. I gotta find a way to play Manhunt. Um, is Manhunt of oh what the fuck? Now I can open the elevator. Is Manhunt available on the PS? Um, oh! Can I get Manhunt on the PS4? It's on Steam, is it? Oh shit, okay, we'll play that in a week or so. Yeah, of course. I didn't know that. I almost got Bully because people wanted to play Bully, but the, the, the reviews were like, it's great, but it doesn't work that well. Um. Okay, great. We'll do Manhunt. Absolutely. PC version is bad, though. It needs patches. Oh, okay. Then I think maybe what I'll do is I'll wait. My capture card may be here tonight. I'll get it on PS4. Um, 
Wait, are you saying Manhunt has the bugs or, or Bully has the bugs? Or both? I mean, it's... Manhunt's unplayable on PC. Oh, fuck that. Oh, Rob, you're making a list of games? Excellent. Thank you, sir. It'll be great for October. That's very Silent Hillish right there. Kusin says it works. Kraken says Manhunt 1 and 2 is not on PS. Okay. Eat weapons don't hit fatty if the legs are intact. You know what I wonder? A lot of the key creatives have left um, Rockstar, right? So it'll be very interesting to see uh, what happens with their... Uh, future output. Like, do people love it as much? What the fudge? Ooh, I went through meat. Oh. Did you play the 3D Splatterhouse? No, I didn't. I really should have. They made that in San Diego for a while, and I just, I'd love to play that game. Um, I would love it, but I just, I can't find it anymore. Uh, oh, okay, you can, oh, okay, okay. This is, um, this is a rogue game. Okay, I see what, I see what this is. Rockstar didn't go forward after your interview. Are you saying you um, you interviewed to work at Rockstar? That, I hear that company is a, 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 a grindhouse, man. Thank you, NATO. NATO says, Papa Jaffe, for me, you were family. Well, I appreciate that, sir. It's very kind of you. Manhunt on PS2 is unrated. But is it playable? These guys are saying it doesn't run on Windows. Okay, well, I'm not enjoying this game at all. Is that just me? Should we kill this game? Should I give it back to Steam? Oh, there's the fingers. I don't like this game. You know why I don't like this game? Um, okay, you wanted to work there a few months ago. Oh, but you weren't as big of a fan? Um... Yeah, this is not... You know what the problem with this game is? It's... It's so surreal and so weird that that weirdness comes at the expense of being able to kind of grok it and understand. So it's interesting. And like, I love, I love, I love the ambiance of it. But it's so confusing. And so strange that I just don't really, I don't really get it. So I'm going to return that. So let's play, you dig it too much of it. Um, it's interesting, but yeah, not for me. Not, it says it's weird for the sake of being weird. I, I mean, I don't know if there's no meaning behind it. I just know that right now I can't get my bearings. Everything looks the same. Everything feels the same. You know, I got it because people said it was super weird, super surreal, and super strange. But alas... Not so much. Um, it's just kind of confusing. Okay, let me go to Killer7. It's weird. The store opens for me, but the uh, my own games don't. All right, here we go. Let's play Killer7. Play. 
Um, scariest Silent Hill. Uh, Hunter, I have not played Silent Hill 2. Somebody, I'm, I'm looking forward to playing it uh, once I get my capture card. The only version I can find, I tried to get the fan version to work. The only version I can find of Silent Hill is the one that's HD, which people say it's not great. Um, but, you know. Uh, Order 1886, I will be playing that on stream because uh, I've never played it. Okay. Okay, I've been told on this game, do not skip the cutscene, so I shan't. I don't know, Solid Python. I'm going to poop my pants for Silent Hill. I mean, I hope so. I'd love to get scared in the game. <laughs> normal Deadly. No, we'll play Normal. Yeah, the only Silent Hill I've played is I played one like where the kid on the, the box art was like a, a kid on a swing that was freezing. And then I played one um, where you are in an apartment with chains on the door. Um, yeah, Rob says if you haven't played Silent Hill before, the HD collecting is fine because you don't know what they've taken out. Right. Itchy says the order is underrated, but uh, uh, Realism says it's boring. It's only like four bucks on the PSN store, so I'll just give it a play. Yeah, it was Shattered Memories I played in the room. Oh, and I played the PSP one, which was kind of the isometric one. Um, okay. I'd love to play Shattered Memories again. I never finished it. Um, yeah, we did consulting with Ready at Dawn. They did those through Santa Monica. And when I was there, I was working on them with them as a consultant. Can PS2 or PS3 run PS1 games? I think the fat PS3 is backward compatible all the way to PS1, isn't it? Shattered Memories made you cry? Interesting. You must be a baby. It's only babies cry. Mm -mm. It's me. I fixed the aspect ratio. I don't know if you guys like this better than when I was squeezing it, but having a better picture. Did I meet Andrea P uh, Pacino? Uh, absolutely. He gave us a lot of help starting up Bartlett Jones. I had lunch with him and Rue, and they gave me a bunch of advice and shit. Nah, not really. You'll know when you see them, they're different. Will do. May the Lord smile. And the devil have mercy. Destroy the Heaven Smile headquarters, capture the chief alive. Okay, I can do that. Sure. Not really, but. Use the 
toward a junction. Oh, I see. That's interesting. James Gilchrist, you don't like this? Kind of cool so far. Learn the controls. No. Um, does it have mouse support? Let me see. This game sucks ass, Emma. What are you talking about? We just turned it on. Did you ever get cool stuff from PlayStation? Oh, yeah. We got jackets. We had We got hardware. We got tchotchkes all the time. Um, all right, let's see if the mouse works. Oh. Okay, yeah, it works with the mouse. Let's see. Yeah, I heard great things about this. I don't know if it's good or not. Oh, I can, I can run. Whoa, what? Wait. Shadow of the Damned was 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 not great, but it was fun. You don't want to go any further. It's dangerous. My friends are all dead. They were all murdered by people that look like this. I have been chosen. <laughs> There's more than 14. Did you sell most Those of your goods? No, I, I, I threw a lot of them away. I had a great bottle of wine. I think it's somewhere that was like once we sold the first 20 millionth PlayStation, everybody who worked there got wine. And we have like two bottles of it somewhere. I don't know where it is. Uh, PSP, Vita, uh, I honestly like the PSP Go. I like the form of it. PS Vita was fine. It was great, but there wasn't a lot on it I like to play. I have no idea, Brian, how many PSXs were they expecting to sell? It's a great question. I have no idea. Yeah. Fictive, I agree. Uh, Shadows of the Dam wasn't perfect, but it was fun. It was, it was a great kind of double A, you know, it was a great single. It was, it was fun. Got the work done. It felt like a matinee movie. It was fun. I don't understand this game. Okay, so she saves the game, I guess. What's the TV do? You don't have any blood. Okay. Oh, The Bedrooms to Billions is good. I still haven't watched it yet. Blood collected from enemies levels up characters. Okay. Trying to figure out what my gun is. Oh, okay. What the fuck? Oh, 
So are the Mario... I, I heard the Mario games are emulated, but I don't really care. <laughs> um... But now you're saying they're poorly emulated? Yeah, I mean, if they're poorly emulated, that's... Yeah. What am I doing? What is this game? I don't understand. What the fuck is this? Enemies are invisible. How do you know all this? You need to scan an area. What? This is... It hasn't told me that, though. Okay, go down here. Let's go in the elevator. Solid, you're saying the Mario games um, are not badly emulated. Gamers are making shit up. Yeah, I mean, Nintendo doesn't really release bad shit. Um, so I'm not saying they're wrong, but I'm, I'm surprised. Who in the chat said that? Where did you hear that? Um, where did you hear that it was bad? It told you how to scan? I didn't see that. Um... I don't, so still says Suda51 games aren't for understanding. You need to marvel at the weirdness. I mean, look, I, I, I played No More Heroes. That was weird, but it was fun. Um, and I played, uh, I didn't play Lollipop Chainsaw. I really wanted to. Okay, stop giving me choices. Let me just experience the game. Oh. <laughs> oh, fuck you, game. What the fuck? Who thought this was a good idea? Who the fuck thought this was a good idea? This is miserable to play. This is terrible. It's confusing. It's weird. And I don't mean weird is bad. You guys know I like weird, but... Oh, just turn around. Why do your controls have to be so shitty? Just fucking let me... I don't have to have full freedom, but don't... Ugh. It's not for me. Look, I'm a pretty weird guy. I like weird shit. This doesn't feel weird like, oh my god, my mind is blown. This just feels obnoxious. I mean, I, I, I have a... Oh, that guy. I have a controller. I can use... Jaff, you're being too hard. What if people said stuff like this about your game? Shut up, Bacon. God damn, what do I give a shit? End of the day, I I paid money for it. I, I have a right to have an opinion, don't I? The game is fucking confusing and fucking weird. It doesn't make any fucking sense. I have no problem with it being on a... Uh, I have no problem with it being on a rail. Uh, that's kind of fun. I'm, I'm looking forward to buying... Um, Dr uh, Panzer Dragoon comes out next week. I like rail games. But the controls are so obtuse that it feels like they're obtuse for the point of being obtuse. Like, why do I have to... <coughs> why can't I just push forward and backwards on the fucking stick? <coughs> you know, why do I have to hit A and if I want to turn around, I have to hit a button to turn around? It's just, it's ridiculous. I know I have to scan. I don't know how to scan. Thanks, Trey. 
Oh. Okay, fuck this game. This game's going back. This is bullshit. This is crap. We're playing something else, fellas. Yeah. Yeah, fuck you. Go fuck yourself. You are a piece of shit. You are junk. You are junk! I like art. I like weird shit. I like obtuse shit. I like strange shit. I like outside of the box shit. 100%. You guys know I'm into that shit. I like variety. I like difference. But come on. There's a, po there's a point where you have to say, you know what? I serve it the pleasure of the goddamn customer. Fuck that shit. Fuck. Yeah, Suda's, Suda ain't crying. Suda can, Suda's, uh, Suda can go make whatever the fuck he wants. He, he, doesn't, he doesn't need me to like it. Um, okay. I'd like to see what else I have, but for some reason, here's what I know I got. I got Ace Combat. I'm stuck in that. Uh, I got Hot Shots Racing, I got RE4, I got Vanquish, I got everything. What do you guys want to play? What should we play, fellas? Or we can buy something if there's something you guys want to buy that looks cool. I got Game Pass, I got all kinds of nonsense here. Um, is Ghostbusters, no, it, 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 I have Max Payne. I have, uh, I'd love to get the new Ghostbusters, but it's not, uh, it's not available. I play Bomberman, yeah. Uh, what do I feel like playing? Right, that's a good question. Let me, th yeah, let's watch cuties together. I did play Axiom Verge. It was pretty good. Um, okay, what do I feel like playing? That's a nice question. Thanks for asking, pal. Let's go to the store. Maybe there's a new game we could buy. And if not, what do I feel like playing? I haven't played this yet. Um, but that doesn't seem like a good stream game. Um, everybody's playing this Among Us game, which almost makes me not want to play it. Isn't that terrible? Isn't that just so dumb? It's like, Jeff, you fucking play something just because people are playing it. Uh, here's that Road Rash game we've been talking about. Uh, that was kind of fun. Uh, Death Stranding. No. Oh, I love Ultra Kill. Suda 51 games are weird, but just that, they're confusing. Yeah, I would love, I loved Shadows of the Dam. Um, I would love to play uh, Lollipop Chainsaw, but I can't find that fucking thing anywhere, man. Um, yeah, it's called Road Redemption is the new one. It's not actually, um, Jaffe Check Discord says Jam. You got it, pal. Papa Jaffe's checking Discord. Oh, we got some money in the Discord. Why am that working? All right. Oh, that was mine? Pete Turtle, what's up? Mm-hmm. No, by George. Pete Turtle. Well. Pete Turtle. Pete Turtle. I never really understood if it was Pete by Turtle. Or it was by Wells. George Orwell. He ain't listening. 648 pages. Jesus Christ. Jam to Josh, what do you want me to check for? Oh, you wanted me to check bullets per minute. Let me check bullets per minute. Pete Turtle, what do you want, man? There's a literally a guy on the chat who ain't saying shit. Bullets, BLM. Or no, that's Black Lives Matter. Bullets per minute. Okay, let's see. Bullets per minute. Very positive. Rhythm action. Yeah, Hello? What's up, Pete Turtle? How you doing? Yo, what's going on? I'm doing a stream. What are you doing? Uh, you know, I just finished eating some Philly cheesesteaks. Okay. So what's what do you want to talk about? Wait, do you remember me? No. What? Why would I remember you? Because I had probably your greatest stream of all time. What does that mean? Where we did the three-way talk and I was dominating you in some debates. Yeah, you, you really left an impression, sir. But... <laughs> Keep going. What do you want to talk about? What do you want to talk wait, about? You really don't. Re okay. Well, I, I was calling to talk because I thought we were kind of cool. I didn't. Well, after we spoke. I didn't. I didn't say we weren't kind of cool. I said I didn't remember you. That doesn't mean yeah, we're. Well, then that doesn't mean we're cool, man. My, like you know. Yeah, but it, do, cool it doesn't. It doesn't mean we're not cool. It just means I don't remember you. I'm an old man. What do you want? I guess that's true. So what do you? Uh, what do you well, want? What do you I'll want, Pete Turtle? I was calling in to say what's up and that uh. Because I thought you knew me and we were cool, that we possibly you can um, 
possibly <laughs> introduce me to Hideo Kojima? I don't really know him that well. I've only met him like twice or three times. He sent me a Christmas gift once and... A Christmas gift from Kojima? Yeah, but it was back in the day. It was a while ago. Um, mm. So I, I really... I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't know him well enough to, uh, to get him on the phone and, and hook you up. Why do you want to talk to Kojima? What do you want to talk to him about? Uh, I didn't really want to talk. I just wanted to meet him and then maybe get an autograph. And okay. then also I wanted to get your autograph on God of War. And then, you know, hanging on my wall or something, man. Listen, I thought I made an impression. I thought I was, like, entitled to get one of these things. No, you didn't make an impression. I mean, what did we talk well, about? Well, you really don't remember? We did the, We had the argument about the... I have um, arguments every goddamn day with people on this stream. That's why I like to do it. Yeah, but not as good as mine. Uh, okay. um, is that what, we were is that what your mom about, told you? Uh, okay, keep going. What were, we, what were we arguing about? We were arguing... What was it about the um, incest? We were arguing incest. How does one argue incest? I have to assume I was not in favor of it, correct? Well, in the beginning, but then 30 seconds in, I made an argument, and then you started to defend incest, and I was proving you to be a sick liberal person. Okay, I, I, think, I, think if I, I think what I was probably saying is if you have consenting adults, I don't give a, mm -hmm. fuck, I don't give a fuck what they do, but I certainly don't believe in it and certainly not with no but we were talking about it in relation to our children because you said well why the fuck would you care what who your kids fuck right that's said, not well, in that's not incest i don't care if my well, no because then i brought up the point of well what if your two children are fucking at uh, the appropriate age and then you said it was sick, and then I made an argument. That I, made I, you say, I would say, well, I would say mm -hmm. that if they were doing that, I, I don't think that would represent them having. I'm by the way, Chad. I'm buying this be this bullets per minute thing. Um, I, I would say I don't think that represents the greatest mental health on their part. But it's, mm -hmm. it's none of my fucking business. Is their adults? What? So as their dad, it's none of your business. If they're grown adults. I want, you know, I'll have an opinion if they ask. Why is this on your fucking mind? No, I'm just talking about when we spoke. And yeah. I thought, you know, at the end of it, hey, man, we're cool now. Can I get, you know, can I meet Kojima? And can I get God of War signed? So you, were, we you, were, cool. you were using me? No, I'm not using you. I understand. I understand. So what, can, I, can I get the autograph? <laughs> yeah, but how? How do I get you an autograph? I mean, where do you live? Uh, New York. Well, I mean, I'm not doing any mail shit right now. Once the pandemic's over, though, yeah, sure, I'll get you an autograph. Oh, damn. All right, so how do I go about that? Do I send it to, like, your Twitter or something? Just send me a DM on Twitter, but don't worry about it right now because it ain't going to happen for at least a couple of months. Oh, come on. That that pandemic, that's a hoax, man. It's a hoax. Are you out of here? You can send I'll it. Send it. <laughs> I'll, I'll ignore. I'll ignore it for a few months, man, because I'm I'm not going to go to the, I'm not going out to the fucking UPS store. No, I respect it. All right, so I'll wait till the pandemic ends. And then I'll get, and I'll hook I'll you up. It. I'll hook you up with an autograph. All right. Cool, All right. man. Thank you, Jeff. Go home, get your shine box, sir. <laughs> All right. All right, see ya. Later. There you go. There's our pal, Pete Turtle. All right, I am loading up um, bullets per minute. So this better be fucking good jam to Josh. But, or Steam's going to be like, damn, Jaffy, you've returned three games in a day. I'm like, well, they're shitty. So Itchy says that was annoying as fuck. Was that a bad call? Should I not have taken that call, fellas? Hunter says that was fun to watch. Um, thank you, Rob. Rob appreciated my good fellas reference. What is going on with Steam? Steam literally cannot find my games. What is the deal, Steam? Has anybody ever had this shit happen? Peapod says, where's Killer7? Um, I turned it off. It was boring and weird and strange. Um, I agree, Renton. It was fun. He was bugging. I, what's, what is this? What is this? It, okay, so this is happening to you too? Okay, good. All right, so it's not... I didn't fuck anything up. All right, so play now. Bullets per minute. It's in my library. Preparing to launch... It's downloading right now. Okay, so we can. Why don't we just chat while it's downloading? Okay, and then if we're tired of chatting, I'll play some fucking. Uh, I'll play some. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna play one quick race of. Uh, now fuck it. Somebody, let's ch let's chat. Let's chat. I was gonna play one race of uh, Hot Shot Racing. Boy, that game. 
It's amazing. Jaffe, you're not hyped for the PS5 event. No, I'm I'm hyped. I'm hyped. Um I'm in, you know, I'm I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna stream it tomorrow. I'm interested. Um but am I hyped? You know, um I mean I'm interested. But I there's nothing I've like I thought the ratchet thing they showed was amazing, but I'm not gonna go out and buy a six hundred dollar system for it. Shut up. What, who, you motherfucker. Dave says he played for 45 seconds and whined like a little girl. It was boring. It w Here's the deal. It wasn't just boring Killer7. It was obtuse intentionally, right? There's no reason that needed to be so goddamn confusing. I don't have a problem if it's on rails. I like rail games. I don't have a problem if it's weird. But it's just like every five steps, up, oh, you're at a branch. What choice do you want to make? It's obnoxious. MD official drops two bucks. I appreciate that, sir. He says, Twisted Metal HC. What's HC? Harbor City. How was Sweet Tooth captured by the doctor? I didn't work on Harbor City. I have no idea. Uh, but thank you for the super chat. I'll answer another question. I'll answer a question for free. I don't charge for that shit, but I appreciate the super chat, sir. But I, I didn't work on Harbor City, so I don't have an answer for you. Are there any reviews of WWE Battlegrounds? Um, not yet. Uh, there was an there was somebody who did an impression today about some of the modes, and it was a positive and it was a positive kind of preview. Um, but it uh, it doesn't have reviews yet. I will be. Uh, getting it Thursday to play on stream or Friday. Um, but I want to wait for the reviews as well. If the reviews come out Friday and it's like a four out of 10, fuck that shit. But if the reviews come out, it's like, Hey, this is pretty solid. I'll, I'll pick it up. Um, I might, if I feel I can't wait, what, um, what game is, uh, WWE, uh, the kind of the, the arcade WWE game that comes out this week. I have candles actually right back over there. Um, it may pay for itself if you can acquire it first and stream it. Oh, what, which game you mean the rest wrestling game battlegrounds. I mean, I don't know if I can get it first, but I'll pick it up uh, when it comes out. I imagine at this point, um, uh, I imagine at this point, the minute any game drops, there's 20 people streaming it. But um, yeah, if they drop it at midnight, Maybe I'll take a chance and, and, and stream it. All right, Af Rally wants to come into the chat. Uh, let's see what Af Rally's on. Af Rally, it's Jaffe. What's up, man? Hello, Af Rally. What you want to talk hey. about? Hey, man. Hey, we've uh, talked twice, so yeah. I'm entitled to a stool sample. Your first born. <laughs> yeah, that's and right. An ounce of sperm. That, and you, yeah, and you, you've sung music for us on the chat, and you're going to edit videos for us. You'd think if anybody deserves something, it'd be you. I love that. I love that guy. That that guy was walking around thinking I remembered him. I'm not. I'm not saying he was like some forgettable loser, but how many people call in and do I chat with? Um, on the stream all the goddamn time. I, I don't, I don't, you know, I remember people who call back a regular. Um, Eternal is saying 50 bucks is too steep for a budget wrestling game. Well, it's not 50 bucks, it's 40 bucks. Um, it is pretty steep, but I hear it's, it's, it's robust, but it, yeah, I'm not going to pay for it if it looks like shit. Um, so after Alley, what are you doing? What do you want to talk about? That was it, man. Thanks, man. All right. See you later, man. Ah, rally was in the stream. Um, yeah, I'm with you, Fictive. I miss uh, arcade WWE style games. Okay, here we go. I think the game is loaded. Let's do this goddamn thing. Here we go. This, oh, it's almost loaded. Look, we get this preparing to launch in under a minute. Look at that shit. Um, I am buying this based on Jam2Josh and a few people in the chat and that it has positive reviews. I'm dropping money left and right, motherfuckers. That's how shit goes. Because we have to entertain the stream. Who else does, seriously, who else does this for you? No one. No one. So when I run for Congress next year, I expect you to show up and vote several times for me. Oh, it's $50 for the digital deluxe version. I mean, it's still 40 bucks. 40 bucks is still a lot uh, for a game that, that, that may not, you know, have a lot of content. 
Jaffe, just for fun, give Afrelli an autograph. I should totally do that. I should introduce, just to piss off uh, the turtle guy, I should absolutely have Kojima call in um, uh, next stream and talk to Afrelli. So wait a minute. This just said, who published this game? Is this Valve? No, it's Awe Interactive. Never heard of those guys. Um, you would consider voting for me? Thank you, cousin. Uh, how many bullets per minute? So let me tell you guys something. Let me guys tell you something. Uh, when I was working at Sony Image Soft, now this guy's heart was in the right place. He was absolutely right. Uh, it was the head of the so of Sony Image Soft, and he would always talk about um, bullets uh, interactions per second. And what he obviously meant was interactions per minute. And it wasn't until a few weeks working there that I'm like interactions per second. How, how many interactions per second do you think? the fastest game in the world has you, you mean interactions per minute or every 15 seconds. But I didn't say that I was terrified for the first year I was going to get fired from Sony. I remember the second day at my Sony job, I went to see my therapist that night. I said, I'm going to get fucking fired. I just know I'm going to get fucking fired. It's taken me forever to finish these goddamn games as a tester. If you had Kojima on stream says Eddie Torres, you would probably set a new world record for concurrent views. Well, that would just be any stream Kojima's on. Um, yeah, Kojima would be, he would send me into a cutscene. That's right. I'd be like, oh God, if I ever have Kojima on the stream, I'm going to put us both in a little codec. Okay. It says play game. Here we go. A brand new game. I've never seen a trailer. I'm going on pure faith. Is this good? Is it good? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why is it running like that? That's right. That's right. You guys are seeing the whole thing. Uh, Mountain Dew gives me a stomach ache, but I love it. I fucking love it. All right, here we go. This is bullets per minute. Action. What is goal mean? The fuck? Oh, easy. Oh, these are characters. Oh, I see. They have abilities. Okay. Is it too loud? Is it too loud? If it's too loud, you're too old. Yeah! Yeah! Look what I did. I'm not a big trophy hunter, no. Well, I like it already. Okay. How do I reload? You can double jump on off beats. Wait a minute. Okay, what are we doing? What are we doing? Okay, that's a sprint. How do I reload? That's not real. Is that reload? That was reload? Okay. Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? Is it too loud? Or is it just right? I have to shoot on the beat? Wait a minute. I'm not sure I understand this. Hang on. So I can shoot into my one. Okay, I'm, I'm, I don't understand what I'm doing. Hang on a minute. So, can I only hit people? Can I? It's not that I don't have any rhythm jam. I'm trying to figure out how you, what this is. Like, can I just, do I play it like a normal shooter? 
So Uncle Fuzznut says you shoot to the beat of the music, but do I shoot like, like right now I don't have to shoot to the beat of the music, listen, watch. Right? But when I was shooting those bats earlier, it seemed like I did. So that's all, that's all, I'm okay, so wait a minute. And I'm just trying to figure out how this works. No? So why do I need to care about the rhythm? You understand why I'm confused, correct? Ooh. Oh, do I, I only have one weapon at a time? I'm not having trouble, I'm just confused by this game. It's on time with the music. Yeah, but do I play to that? Ring 10? Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're telling me it's, okay, it's a rhythm game, but no instruction or restriction on when to shoot. So what advantage do I get to shooting on the beat is what I'm saying. Like, is it more damaging? I have no idea what this fucking game is. What the fuck is this thing? It's a damage boost. Okay. Can I ride the chicken? What the fuck is I... This is like a Wes Anderson movie meets Peter Jackson. What the fuck am I playing? Okay, hang on. Let's get out of here. I don't know what the chicken wants. Yeah, this is a Suda 51 game. What the fuck? Alright, let me find some bad guys. This is super confusing. God damn, there's not a lot of bullets in this fucking game. Oh, I bet I can reload to the beat too. I don't understand this fucking game. Wait, so all you guys are buffering? How is the stream for you guys? Is it going down? Retro, I would assume that, but how can I shoot a Gatling gun in time to a beat? I don't know if the reticle has anything to do with the timing or not. Right, there's a blacksmith. Let's go see if he can help. Bukaki's here. What's up, man? Oh, I got to show you something, Bukaki. Oh, shit. Look at that guy. What is X? Uh... Oh, do I trade that gun for this gun? Hang on. This is confusing.
play with the mouse and keyboard. Hang on. I spent three for what? I didn't buy anything. I gave him the, what? Yeah, I'm totally gonna play Spelunky. I don't, I don't not like it. I like it. I just, I'm, I don't understand it. I mean, it feels like a game I would really like. I'm just trying to get my head around what it is. And I like there's no tutorial, but there's no tutorial. Like, I don't know what this is. Like, am I taking money from the bank? So now I have coins and I go over here and I give him coins? What the fuck is this game? And he gives me nothing? What the fuck is this game? Can I just shoot something? God damn, give me something to shoot. Am I out of ammo? No idea what this game is. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm so far confused by the whole rhythm part. It doesn't seem to make a difference yet. Wait, so you can go. I think you jump a little higher if you jump on the offbeat. No. Not at all. If you want to reload, you do it on the beat. Okay, let's see. If you're rhythm, I'm not rhythm challenged. I just don't understand. Do I have auto mode on? I don't know. Let's see. Auto is off. So I'm supposed to shoot. If you want to reload fast, do it on the beat. Let me try that. Okay, I get the cursor's a metronome, but how do I time this? It's a Gatling gun. I can do that, but what's the point of having a Gatling gun? Hunter, try restarting your stream or refreshing the page. People said that worked better.
This game makes no fucking sense. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. They didn't put a goddamn tutorial in it. I respect that. I really like that. But I think they fucked up bad. Cause it makes no goddamn sense. And the game's got good reviews. I don't know why. That was good, Jaffy. Dropping some sick beats, Jaffy. Thanks, man. If you shoot it rapidly, it'll be on the beat. Watch. Bum, 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 bum. I get it. I get it. But it doesn't make any... Di so what? What did it just do there? You see that? What is that doing? What is it doing? Is that saying... Okay. Struggling with rhythm? No, I'm not struggling with rhythm, you idiot. I'm struggling with how to play your game. I know the beat. Boom, 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 boom. I got it, but what is it? What value is there? If I can shoot off the beat, why do I give a fuck about shooting on the beat, you fuck? The fuck is this? What is... I mean... So I can go, I can go watch. I can go... Boom. 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 Or I can go... Boom, 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 boom. Does the same goddamn thing. Who gives a shit? Somebody, what the fuck is this game about? Watch this. Boom, boom. Wait. Boom, boom. So what? I just, I want to understand it. The game seems interesting, but what the fuck is this thing? What? No, no. You don't get to paint me like that, Hunter. Hunter says this game's a nightmare for people who don't love music. I love music. What does loving music have to do with anything? This game makes no sense. It is obtuse. I literally just put a coin. It's clearly an interesting game. I don't want to abandon it. It's gimmicky, shallow, lame sauce, says Half Rally. It's impossible to shoot off the beat. I actually understand where Jaffe's coming from. I'm not ignorant. I don't under you. Okay, if I'm ignorant, that's fine. Then educate me. Ignorance can be solved by education. You educate me. What am I supposed to fucking do in this game? I mean, anyone can go. Bum, 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 bum. So what? You were doing good. Add more beats, but keep the timing. You could go bam, 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 bam. No, you can't. Watch. Hang on, let me reload. Bam, 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 bam. I can't go bam, bam, bam. I can just go bam. Bam, 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 bam. But where's my bam, bam, bam? Bam. Fuck you, Alan Smith. I got... You guys are morons. I have the rhythm. It's... You guys are morons. I have the rhythm, you fuckheads. It doesn't make a difference. It doesn't make a difference. Or if it does, it's so minor that I'm like, watch this. Great, I'm shooting in rhythm. So what? Okay, educate me. What am I doing wrong? So what? Big fucking deal. Jam to Josh. Why the fuck did I buy this game? What the fuck is happening with the graphics? Right? This... Oh, this game can go fuck itself. Look at this. There's something on the floor that's making me slide around. I, I like that I have to pay attention to the combo meter. I'm busy. I'm trying to shoot things and survive. This is terrible. It does sound satisfying, but what is going on with this ground? Fuck off. You are going back to the store tonight. $20 for you? You know what, fellas? I'm going to cleanse the palate. 
I'm going to cleanse the palate. I'm going to show you the best goddamn game that I've played in a long goddamn time. This is this is in my top five game of the year. Uh, 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 what's it called? Uh, uh, I can't remember what it's called. Hot shot, hot shot. This game is sublime. It is amazing. It is beautiful. It is brilliant. Uh, that BLM fucker. I don't know why the stream's lagging, man. I mean, I got a green bar over here. Michael, it's not lagging for everybody. What I hear is if you refresh your page, it should be okay. Shut up, Bukaki, you fuckhead. I wish Jeffy had rhythm. I wanted to see more of the game. I have plenty of rhythm. I was in the marching band. I played the trumpet. I know all kinds of shit about rhythm, you fuckhead. But I can't play it. Oh, I see. Bacon says, Jaffe, you should have been bam. Been bam. I see. Okay, here we go. There we go. I'm going to play this for a little bit. This game is the greatest. Dave Carr, you like this one? Yeah, me too. All right, we're going to go... No, not single race. We're going to do Grand Prix. And I'm trying to get the gold in this one. Damn right, Alexa. Uh. My fastest design. Andre, this game is awesome. It's so good. You refresh the stream now. It's coming in clear. Good. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that man, but I'm glad. It's, I'm glad it's fixable. Shut up, motherfucker! I don't need your jog jamming. This game has textures. It doesn't have a lot of textures, but it definitely has textures. Those arrows are textures, I think. I don't think those are uh, created with polygons. It might be. No, there's some texture in this game. I think. I know there's not a lot because it loads fast. Oh, I'm not paying attention. I gotta focus. Sorry. I was looking at the textures. Now the rubber banding in this game is bad. I will. I hope they patch that. I love some rubber banding, it's necessary to keep it feeling exciting, but this game you can be in the lead for the whole time and you fuck up once and you're in eighth place. It's, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. And I think I'm streaming at 60 frames. I tried to make a review video of this the other day and I was surprised how slow it looked on the video and I'm like, this when I play this game, it feels blazing. But maybe I'm streaming at 30 frames and not 60, like I think I am. God, that's so good. I mean, come on, you guys. Come on, you guys. It just, it just it's, it's butter, baby. It's fucking butter. Look at the chat in a second. Sorry, chat. Give me that. Give me that, you fuckhead. Oh, it feels so... What is it about that? Do you know what? The guys who made this, I didn't realize this. Sumo Digital does the Sonic um, racing games. Those games are amazing, especially the second one. Um, I'm like, oh, now it makes sense. I know Lucky Mountain Games also did this with them. So I don't know how the work was distributed, but fuck, man. Sonic's got a great... Uh, or Sumo's got a great fucking racing engine. Come on, Jaffy, get that, get that boost, get it, 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 get it. You goddamn right, you goddamn right. Don't you fuck with me. Listen to me, I've wasted money on four games today. This is, this is where I get, this is where I get my revenge. Fuck. Maybe, 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 maybe. Go, 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 fifth place. Fuck you. Um... The screen keeps going black, Hunter. I don't know. That's weird. I'm not sure why that's happening. On the race starts, you can try to keep your RPM in the yellow. Oh, you get a boost. Okay, good to know. Good to know. I've been trying to figure out what the, the trick is. Um, a twist of metal with graphics like these, Peapod, that'd be great. If PlayStation had this as an exclusive, you would be interested in PS5. Um, I wouldn't be interested in paying $500 for a system to play this, but... I like games like this more than what I've seen so far 
In next gen, yeah, but that doesn't, I mean, I'm impressed by the next gen, of course. Hello Kingdom, am I excited for the PS5 showcase? Yeah, we were just talking about that. I am absolutely excited. We'll be streaming it live tomorrow. Whether I'm excited in the same way as like uh, Magma Bacon, Bacon Magma, um, you know, I'm a gameplay guy and most of what I've seen so far is brilliant, beautiful, adoring graphics, but the games just kind of look like, okay, I've played these for the last 10 years. So I'm, ex I'm, 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 I'm cautious, but I'm excited. Um, it's always good to watch a fucking new hardware release anyway. But I'm much more into gameplay than graphics. I would buy this in a heartbeat if I can make the other drivers crash like in Burnout. They are doing um, free DLC. I don't know what's coming. That might be cool. These cars, though... Oh, shit. I fucked that up. These cars, though, are really aggressive. They, they do get flipping and flying around, but it's nothing like... Um, it's nothing like Burnout. Are they announcing new games? I have to imagine, they're calling it the PlayStation 5 Showcase. They haven't said what that entails. I have to imagine they are showing some new games. Um, I gotta focus. Um, I have to imagine they're showing new games. They're doing hardware launch date, price, but can you imagine if they don't do new games? Or I mean, who knows? I know some games that make sense to announce tomorrow. So I'm assuming those games are going to be announced tomorrow, but, you know, I can't say what they are, and I don't know for sure if they will. Okay, there's no way I'm catching up, but we're going to try it. We're going to try it. Come on, Jaffy, focus. I want to look at the chat. I'll look at you guys in a second. I just want to see if I can make a Rocky Balboa comeback. Not, not with that kind of driving, you can't. Come on, Jaffy, you fucking moron. Get in there. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get what you deserve. Get that shit. Get that shit. Come on, come on, come on. Let me ask you guys a question. When you're watching this on... Oh, this is terrible. I gotta restart. When you're watching this on stream, does this look fast? Um, or does it look moderate? Because this game is blazing when you play it. But my videos of it don't seem so fast, and I'm not sure. Did I like working at Sony? Yeah, it was great. It was a wonderful company. Great job. One of my, I worked there for almost 20 years. Fantastic. All right, I'm going to Cinderella Man the game. You got it. It's a great fucking movie and a great song by Eminem. It looks and plays like a game on Leap, Leapfrog. Shut up, Bukaki. This game is perfect. This is top five of the year for me. I may be buying copies of this and giving them away. That's how good this game is. I want to share this with the world. Especially when they add more content. But I, I've been playing this nonstop. I mean, like I said at the start of the stream. Okay, I got to focus now. Give me that. Give me my first place. Fuck with me. The drifting feels good. See that? I was... I'd slow down a little and I'm all back and forth. I mean, the rubber banding's got to get... That's a fuck... I mean, in most games I've worked on, I've worked on a couple of games peripherally that are racing games. That rubber banding is usually set on a uh, very simple tweaker. I, all they would have to do... I mean, again, unless they've done it differently, is push a patch... Just, I mean, you need rubber banding in most games like this, but dial it back a little bit. It's like, it's, and it's a balance because you want it to be fun and competitive, but my God, man, you put a lot of work into getting up front, especially on these later races, and one little slowdown and that's it? That's a little crazy. Shit, Jaffy. Like, I remember when they did Jet Moto, it was just on a tuner. Come on, Jaffy. Come on, you fuck. Come on, you fuck. God damn it, Jaffy. Give me some more. Give me some more juice. That's what I need. I mean, I guess on the plus side, it's easy to go from 8th to 1st. But the problem with that, though, is if you end up dropping in 8th at the wrong time, it's it's all over. Such a good game. Next up, 
Boom, what the fuck off. Oh, it's good stuff. Um, so, I'm sorry, it looks quick. <laughs> like Joe Biden, fuck you. Um, as, that is an Eminem deep cut. That's a great fucking song by Eminem, though. Um, did you ever play Wipeout? I did, and I enjoyed it, but um, it was a little bit... It, I, I, I loved and I also struggled with the controls in that game. Like, I liked how when you banked, there was a really interesting kind of slide. Um, but it sometimes you bang the wall sometimes and you didn't quite feel you deserve that. Shut up, Bukaki. This game is great. I can't believe I got to go get my money back from Steam. That's such a pain. Can't believe. How in the world is bullets per minute or whatever getting such good reviews i don't understand i don't get it but i you know what i bet it could be good i'm gonna read a review after this i bet it could be good i just don't understand how to play it because it looks like a well-made game and the music's great it's just really confusing you know i don't know if this is the sonic all-star engine um shit. that was me looking at the chat come on jackie focus but I know it's the same developer publisher, along with help from a, a team called Lucky Mountain Games. And again, I don't know how that got, I don't know who did what, but I can tell you one of the, Sonic, Sega, whatever they call it, racing is one of my favorite kart racing games of all time. And primarily because it controls beautifully and this controls beautifully. So there's definitely, I don't know if there's shared DNA, but there's shared quality for sure. Or at least, at least shared philosophy of what they think makes a good racing game. But I've seen a lot of reviews on this, like on Gaff and stuff. And God, Jeff, you're not paying attention. Maybe get tired. And they've not been kind to this. I'm like, oh, it's so shallow. It's so simple. But that's probably like people who like Madden complaining about NFL Blitz. I'm like, it depends what you're looking for. Like, I have no interest in Gran Turismo, but I fucking love this. Okay, Jeffy, come on. What are you doing, you moron? You're, you've done this track many times. Shit. I won't give up, though. I won't do it. I won't give up. This is how you make a comeback, kids. It's called tenacity. It's called tenacity. I may not get first place. I may not even place. You know what? Doesn't matter. You don't quit. You don't quit. You get up off the map, motherfuckers. Bukaki, I know you didn't have a dad that stuck around and showed you that, but I'm going to show you that. You're going to watch this and go, all right. Jaffe could have walked away, he could have hit restart, but he didn't. Interesting. That's what a man does. That's what a man shows up and does. Yeah, I know. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that plus. God damn it. Yeah, we... we that's, that was terrible. That was fucking terrible. It reminds you of 2049 Rush. Kind of. They don't have any shortcuts or anything. <laughs> Bukaki says, my dad's a great man, you son of a bitch. Yeah, I'll meet him behind the fucking Safeway tonight. We'll see how great he is. Oh my God, rock and roll racing. That would be great. Okay. It's possible we could still get first in this Grand Prix. Here we go. I got two more races to prove it, to make it happen. Your potatoes. That was short round. Clean. That was my short round imitation. Oh, 
Sorry, chat. Sorry, chat. I, I know I, I can't pay any attention right now. It's a hard game to stream sometimes. Oh, shit. Final lap. Come on. Come on, Jaffy. Build the boost. You're going to need it. You're going to need the boost. Save it. God damn right into the wall, you fucker. Come on, Jaffy. Got to use the boost now. Got to use the boost now. Come on now. This is for Rob the Mod. It's for Rob the Mod. Come on now. Give it all you got, pal. Give it all you got. Come on. I know I made it. Fuck. Come on. I need that boost. I need a boost for the finish line. Can't mess up. Can't mess up. I got the fast car on track. Okay. Save it. Save it. Don't waste it yet. Don't waste it yet. You got it. Come on, Jeff. You save that boost, bitch. Gimme, 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 gimme. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Ah. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. <sighs> Motion blurring games? Uh, I don't think about it. Afferali, thank you so much for the banana, sir. I appreciate that. Fuck, it just hit my hand. Appreciate it, man. Very kind of you. Thanks for the super chat. I actually took a picture of him using the Snapchat filter to make him look like Kratos from God of War. My dad's going to mess you. <laughs> I'm not worried about your father. Do you believe the government does things negatively affects America? I don't understand that question. Would you ask the question again without, like, what? Does the government do things that negatively affect America? I understand that question. But then, are, are you asking, was 9-11 an inside job or did the government create AIDS? Is that is that basically what you're trying to ask? I absolutely think the government uh, keeps secrets and they act in their own interest even though we are the government, um, in order to keep power, um, and in order to influence things, because the people in power, when they're in power, um, want to stay in power and whatnot. Um, I don't know if I go hook, line, and sinker like 9-11. Um, if anything about 9-11, I, e I would have an easier time believing that maybe Bush and Cheney or whatever knew 9-11 was going to happen and they let it happen. Um, I'm not saying there's evidence of that, but at least I could kind of go, that's at least semi-plausible. A lot of the stuff about the thermite and the building seven and, um, oh shit. That is harder for me to really believe that they had people working within the walls for months that no one saw and that they kept this a secret all this time and no one's come out since and said, yeah, I'm one of the guys that planted the demolition. And I, I just, it, it would have had to have been a huge operation. And look at all the stuff that leaks normally that aren't huge operations. And you've got an operation that killed thousands. Um, I mean, let's put it this way. The Trump administration recently told the CDC in Florida or Georgia that they could not report proper statistics um, in order because they wanted kids to go back to school. I'm so fucking up. And that leaked within a day. So the idea that there's this massive conspiracy for 9-11, stuff like that just feels harder to swallow. So I guess I believe the government's capable of being that evil, sure. But I don't think they've done anything like that as far as I've heard. I'm so not going to place in this Grand Prix. That's okay, though. More fun than bullets per minute. I hate it when I have a bad race. It just feels bad. It feels bad. Man. Yeah, I made it. I'm gonna come in last place. Shit. Um, 
Silent says, you know, the first cop at the scene of the Tupac murder didn't say things until a decade later. Yeah, one guy. One guy wouldn't have pulled off 9-11. You would have had to have had at least 100. Because they said they had people in the walls planting explosives and all that shit. I mean, come on. Um, I knew about 9-11, but the White House never answered my calls. Yeah, well. Um... Yeah, I don't know what to tell you, Michael Day. Um, it's It might be on my end, but everybody else, people are saying they've been having a hard time with the chat, uh, and they refreshed, and it was fine. But I am sorry you're having a hard time. I could I could, I could, could figure something out if I was getting bad bars, but I got bright green bars across the board here, so it's telling me I'm getting a good signal. Um, Retro says they have evidence and pictures of people working in the building for months that ended up being Israel National Intelligence. It's out there. Okay, let's find out. Let's find out. Let's show me those pictures. My gut tells me that that's not accurate. But I I believe I have no reason not to believe you, but Yeah, there's a bug in this game that sometimes you can't back out. Let's see. All right, I want to see this. I want to see this thing that uh, Retro is talking about. Okay. Um Israeli, I spelled it wrong, did I spell it right? Israeli and 9-11 working buildings, let's see. Uh, these are conspiracy theories. Um, Five Israelis were seen filming as jet airliners. I don't see anything, though, that says there are pictures of them working. Thank you so much, uh, Kusan, for the uh, super chat and the hamburger. I appreciate that very, very much. Um, but again, I mean, look, I, I'm not one of these. You know, the problem with conspiracy theories on this particular issue is is a lot of people who think people like me who don't buy it hook, line, and sinker are just like, oh, you're in the dark, you're ignorant. I'm like, I don't put it beyond people to do evil shit like that. I wouldn't put it beyond Dick Cheney. I, I, I'm not saying I have evidence of it and I'd like to think it didn't happen, but I don't have any evidence of it. And I've watched the same documentaries you guys have watched. I watched Loose Change and stuff. My brother told me there was one on PBS recently that was really compelling from a guy, I think he was a professor in Utah, that revealed some new stuff, but I haven't seen that one yet. But I, I am absolutely open to the fact that there's a bunch of shady stuff our government does, and maybe 9-11 was one of them. But again, I ask you, you know, I've, I, I always go back to this and I never get a really good answer. Whenever I ask people why we did 9-11, if we did it, they say, oh, well, we wanted to go to war. We needed an excuse to go to war. And that just doesn't make any sense because... Who do we want to go to war with? We wanted to go to war with Iraq. Well, if we wanted to go to war with Iraq, why didn't we load the planes full of Iraqi terrorists? They were from Saudi Arabia. And the news came out, um, you know, uh, immediately and said these guys are from Saudi Arabia. And then Bush had to figure out how to convince the public to go to war with Iraq with all the weapons of mass destruction and Colin Powell holding up the vial of, of toxin or whatever it was at the UN. And so I'm like, if the whole if, if, if we were going to murder 3,000 Americans just to go to war with Iraq and get oil, why in the world wouldn't we have done the simplest thing, which is said, oh, Iraq was responsible for 9-11 and literally said Iraqis were on the plane. I, I never hear conspiracy theories answer that. Um, but anyway, I mean, but, it, you know, if somebody were to come out tomorrow and say there's a headline in the New York Times that has proof that says um, the government did 9-11, I'd say, OK, I, it's disappointing. It's tragic. It's sad. It might lead to war, but I, I don't not believe it. Um All right. Well, fellas, we, listen, I had a good chat with you guys today. Um, I enjoyed very much talking to you guys. I'm sorry the games were duds. Let me, let me give you a recap. We, we got our, we, we got our butts handed to us today. We tried to play, so Steam won working that well. We tried to play that golden game. We tried to play Killer7. We tried to play Bullets Per Minute. None of them 
were all that goddamn great. They were all just kind of like, eh, eh. You can only see my forehead. Well, I'm here, man. There's nothing I can do. I'm sorry if the, if, I mean, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, Trey. I don't know what's happening regarding the stream right now. It sounds to me like it's not working terribly well. Um, but okay. I will be back tomorrow. Jason says, Jeffy, I love the fact you don't just believe bullshit conspiracy. You look for facts. People love to fantasize tragic events and look for a more deeper meaning. Sometimes life is just ugly, right? And again, sometimes there are conspiracy theories. Sometimes, uh, you know, Donald Trump will tell the public that COVID is nothing. And then there'll be a tape with him talking to a reporter on the phone saying COVID's horrible. Um, so I'm not putting it beyond these people to do awful things. I'm just saying that you gotta, sh you gotta have some, you know, um, some evidence, not just drama. Okay. Tomorrow. Listen to me. Listen to me. I'm going to make this up to you guys. I feel terrible. The games were bad today. Worst case, we're playing RE4 tomorrow, but I want, I want you to think for a minute. Here we go. Well, let, me, let me go to the chat. Hang on. Jason says it doesn't make sense. The United States government would intentionally have the Pentagon attacked in the iconic World Trade Center attack. Terrorists tried bombing the World Trade Center in the Clinton administration. Right. I mean, it would, it would make sense if they were like, we have to go to war. And the only way to get the American public to go to war is something awful like this. But then four months later... They concoct this whole story about Saddam Hussein having weapons of mass destruction, which was later debunked. And that's what got us into war. It's like, okay, so why did they really do it? Um, I'm glad, Trey. I'm glad you had a good time. I had a good time too. But so tomorrow, 1230, we're going to do a preamble to the Sony conference. Then at one o'clock, we're going to watch the Sony conference. I don't imagine it's going to be very long, but it, it is it is what it is. And then afterwards, we will play something. I'm going to work really hard to find us something fun to stream tomorrow. I don't like streaming stuff we've already streamed, but we know RE4 is good people. We know Ace Combat's good people. We know uh, Max Payne 3 is good people. So worst case, I'll play that. But I'd rather show you guys something new or at least something all fresh and shit. When's the Patreon coming back? I'm thinking this sun, this weekend I'm going to work on it. I'd like to make it live next week. I definitely want to bring the Patreon back. I hope people who watch the stream consider uh, joining the Patreon. I'm trying to come up with some good reasons for you to join it other than to support the stream you love with all your nether regions and hearts. Jaffe, I feel you're going to have a surprise announcement at the PlayStation stream. I You can feel it all you want, but I bet, you know, unless... You know, I might be surprised. They might say, hey, there's a new Twisted Metal, but I have nothing to do with it. On my life, on my children's life, believe I'm saying that, I have nothing to do with this thing. I'm not involved. I wasn't involved with the video. I don't have a surprise announcement. There's nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it. Um, saying there's nothing to gain was not looking into it subjectively. I don't understand what that means. Um, look, I'm again... I didn't say you're wrong, but explain to me, you know, maybe we'll, I'll tell you what, Sunday, if you come to the stream on Sunday, we'll make that part of the political stream. We won't make it part of this Sunday. Absolutely. We will do, um, we will do, uh, uh, nine 11 conspiracy theories. Um, but I don't want to make it as much the game, but Sunday we'll, I, we'll crack it open, baby. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and if you, if there's anything in the meantime for me to watch that you recommend I watch that I haven't watched, I will watch it. So I will prepare myself for that conversation. Is there anything that would make me excited for PS5? Uh, we talked about this sober at the beginning of the stream. Um, you, you know, um, I mean, I think the rumor of Silent Hill is potentially pretty exciting. Um, uh, but it would be hard. It would be hard for them. What they would have to show me to make me want to go drop five hundred dollars is they would have to say, Jaffe, if you invest in us, we're going to give you a consistent output of games that are fresh and different and unique and, and brave and uh, just forward thinking. If what they show me um, is Ratchet and Clank, which I made a video about. I said Ratchet and Clank is staggering. It is so beautiful. It is so cool tech-wise. But the gameplay of Ratchet and Clank, the gameplay of Miles Morales, um, looks just more of the same, which is not bad if you like that. But I'm tired of that. 
you know, um, if you watch the games we play on the stream, it's I need stuff that's fresh and different and unique. Um, or that's just, you know, uh, I know you could say, well, how is Ace Combat unique? But compared to what I've been playing recently, it's unique. So basically to answer your question in a very long way, Sober Hippie, they would have to show me two to three to four ideas of games that are like, oh, that looks really different and fun to play. That's what they'd have to show me. If they're just going to blow my mind with graphics, eh. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll be happy to cheer them on and say those are amazing graphics. That's amazing technology. But that's not why I play video games. Um, I respect that's why a lot of you guys play video games. But that's not the main, the main reason I do. Um, I doubt the PlayStation All-Stars battle would be announced. I agree. I agree. Um, Bacon. Um... What's my average bedtime? Lately, it's been one or two. I'm trying to get it down to 11. Um, when am I going to play Asura's Wrath? It's not even on my list. I'll look into it. Um, fellas, that's it. Rob the Mod. Inky, thank you guys very much. All your amazing, generous super chats. Thank you very much. D DW Octorock, thank you so much for our little Jaffe gift down there. Trey Trimble, thank you. We're going to be putting up a new video tonight or tomorrow with all the Ace Combat footage uh, that's edited, and it's kind of like a five-minute kind of highlight reel. Uh, I'm going to try a new thumbnail that Trey Trimble created for the stream for the uh, YouTube channel. Let me know what you think uh, tomorrow. Join the Discord. See you tomorrow at 1230 if you want to hang out with us and watch the Sony uh, stream. Otherwise, uh, at David Scott Jaffe Twitter. Thank you, guys. See you soon.